It's Spencer at the 15, at the 20, out to the 22-yard line. Spencer from Ohio State. Jack Swirick just picked up this past week, made the stop on the specialty unit. Air Coriel starts with their pilot, Dan Fouts at the controls, Spencer and Anderson. The wide receivers you saw there, Chandler and Joyner with Winslow, the tight end. Don Masick, the center. Clappin, Lachey, McKnight, and Kowalski. First down. Anderson goes wide to the left. Coming back in motion, West Chandler. Fouts on first down, out into the left flat. That's Chandler, and Chandler is up over the 25 to the 26-yard line. Stop made by Bud Brown. Turner, the rookie, with Bomb, Howard, and Little on the defensive line. The Dolphins, a club that has some problems on defense. Brodzinski ship, the brilliant youngster, John Offerdahl, the rookie. Hugh Green, McNeil, Judson, Langford, and Brown in what is a patchwork defensive backfield. On second down, penalty marker goes. Anderson down the sideline, run out over there. And we'll wait and see what the call is going to be as the penalty markers flew. Seems like a little devilment already on the part of the Chargers, Jay. They started off the game with that quick hitch over to the great wide receiver Chandler. Illegal motion against the Chargers. The referee today, the veteran Dick Jorgensen. And it seems on that play, they wanted to take a little bit of advantage. Illegal coming up. motion, number 40. Offense, still second down. Call against Anderson. Coming up to the line of scrimmage as quickly as possible and trying to catch the Dolphins not exactly prepared to go at the uh, Charger offense. They're going to try to mix things up and confuse the young defensive backs and uh, linebacking crew of the Dolphins this afternoon. Second down and 12 at the 21-yard line. There goes Joyner in motion to the far side. Bounce comes back the other way. Kellen Winslow drops the football. Winslow coming back from having his knee completely reconstructed. A pro bowler, 80 through 83, played at the University of Missouri. And Fouts complained a couple of weeks ago to Winslow, saying that he was not coming out of his breaks quickly enough. In that particular case, it seems like Fouts took a little bit off the football because Winslow was not prepared to catch it at the time. One day, he drilled him in the chest with a couple of weeks ago, and Winslow said he'd never forget he'd come out of that break as quickly as possible, Jay. Baumhauer had the coverage, but Winslow was in the clear. Donovan Rose in the backfield for the Dolphins. They're in the nickel. Third and 12. Fouts over the middle, and it goes to Anderson, who made the all-rookie team last year. Rose in there on the play, number 26, the second-year man from Hampton. Donovan Rose going off. He's been a little bit gimpy, but he's getting an opportunity here today. Donovan Rose is the guy they're going to have to get involved in the defense this afternoon. As you said, it's a patchwork defense with secondary. A couple of injuries back there. Glenn Blackwood out on the injured reserve list. His brother Lyle back in the lineup. But they've got some problems in the secondary. Ralph Mojenko, the second-year man from Michigan State to do the putting. Young man born in West Germany. Mark Clayton back to receive. A poor punt. Clayton on the run. Loses it. Big pile up at the 42-yard line. And the Chargers say they have the football. They unravel it, and it is going to be a turnover. And San Diego will put it back in play on offense. The toughest part for a return man on a kick like that is that the punter happens to be left-footed. The spin goes the opposite way. Clayton had a dead run up to the football and couldn't handle the opposite spin. And Clayton is not normally the return guy back there. James Clune is the man who had been using it. Clayton, this time, the spin is going away from his body. He can't handle it. That's the first break of the afternoon. It goes to the San Diego Chargers. 55, Derry Nelson was in there, along with Robinson. Handoff goes to Spencer inside the 40-yard line. Spencer spun down by Bob Baumhauer, number 73. 
Bob Maurer is a man we're going to have to watch this afternoon, Jay. His knee, uh, again, a severe injury a couple of years ago, just coming back this season. He tested it in preseason, says it's not back to what it used to be, but the injuries very rarely are. In preseason, the Chargers were 3-1. and one. They won from Dallas, 20 to nothing. From the Eagles, 45-38. Lost to the Rams in overtime, 20 to 17, and one from the Cardinals, 24 to 17. Bounce to go upstairs. He's got a man, and it is complete to Pete Hollihan, the tight end, number 88. They put Hollihan and Winslow both in the lineup on that play. First down, Brzezinski, 59 on the tackle. And Winslow came from one side, Hullahan from the other. They confused the uh, the Dolphin defense. They are actually on the same side of the field, but they snuck Hullahan down the side and across the defense, confusing the secondary and the linebacking crew of the Dolphins. They're going to do more of that this afternoon, Jay. They want to try and do as much movement as they can to try to confuse the secondary. 11.48 to play. We're in the first period. Tremaine Johnson in the game, 83, set to the right. They pitch it to Anderson. Anderson across the 20. Fights his way to the 18 before Big Hugh Green, number 55, and the rookie at left end, 95, T.J. Turner, make the stop. Now, Houlihan and Winslow, they have to come out of this formation and catch the ball as they did the previous play. They also have to block. Watch the top part of your screen. Number 80, that's Winslow, and number 88, that's Houlihan blocking, just letting the flow go around and making some room for Spencer, who happens to be the toughest runner in the San Diego Chargers have had this year. Don Shula's been concerned about his run defense. Anderson, Spencer, and Hubert McGee are all in there. Bounce, throws back, nobody there. Well, Faust had to bail out. It looked like a blown play. There was just nobody in the zone over there, and good pressure from Big George Little, number 99 at right end, who's been a very consistent performer for the Dolphins. Yeah, but Faust isn't going to get caught back there. He was not sacked very often last year. He knows Winslow. That's what he's looking for, actually. Winslow got caught up in the uh, line of scrimmage, and uh, Faust's not going to take a sack. He's going to throw that thing away. He's a veteran, Jay. Fouts. Marino is not the veteran Fouts is, but neither one of these guys like to take those sacks. You know that. Right. I've got Dan on the brain. Third down and four. Out into the flat. It comes to Anderson. He's at the five. Touchdown! himself over the goal line from the five. And that's the man that Chuck Sudley, the defensive coordinator of the Dolphins, said he was most worried about. Gary Anderson coming over from the USFL now with a complete year under his belt. Goes over the top for the score. Ralph Benershka attempts the point. Mozhenko holding. It is up and it is good. We have 10 minutes and 52 seconds left to play in this first period. And we're going to show you the ability of these Chargers in just a minute. First of all, let's run down a couple of scores for you as we have our first score here. And this big crowd applauding the play of the Chargers and Anderson being congratulated there by Kellen Winslow. In the fourth, the Bears lead by only three. Washington over Philadelphia. The Rams are beating St. Louis. Our 10-minute ticker bringing you up to date as it will throughout this season. Houston banging Green Bay this afternoon and Detroit over Minnesota. San Francisco winning big over Tampa Bay and Atlanta the same over New Orleans. Denver 7-0 over the Raiders in the early going. No score at Buffalo with the Jets there and San Diego leading 7-0 here. Well, a turnover, and the San Diego Chargers took advantage of it. Kansas City has an early lead over Cincinnati. Pittsburgh's at Seattle, Indianapolis at New England. 7-0 here. Banershka is going to do the kicking off. A short kick coming at the 12 to Carter. Joe Carter's at the 20 to the 25, out to the 26-yard line. 
Carter brought down on the return by Fred Robinson. Well, here's the touchdown again, Jimmy. Well, let's take a look at it. Bounce back to throw, and Anderson is the guy he's going to try to get the football to all afternoon. And again, there was traffic inside. That's what the Chargers are trying to do. Great. Now, watch this leap over the top. Number 43, that's Bud Brown trying to come underneath and submarine him. But number 40, Gary Anderson, has as much athletic ability as any player in the National Football League. Remember when they used to shoot that guy out of the cannon at the circus? That's what it looked like. All right, first down for Dan Marino. The Dolphins start from their own 27-yard line. Marino throwing, and it is complete out to the 30-yard line. Bruce Hardy, the tight end, had to go down low to pick it off. Thomas Benson, the right inside linebacker, 57 on the tackle. Marino with Hampton and Davenport in the backfield. Clayton, Duper, and Hardy. Hardy, the tight end. Joe Rose out on the IR, injured. Green, Foster, the brilliant Dwight Stevenson at center with Ronnie Lee and Greg Cook. He's second down, about seven. Dan Johnson, 87, is now the tight end, and looked like Marino might have audibleized here. He hands it off to Hampton, and Hampton gets near the 33-yard line. He was run down by Billy Ray Smith. Earl Wilson, 93, also in there on the tackle. We're going to see these Chargers do a lot of stunning, be very active on defense. Williams, Ian, and the rookie, Leslie O'Neill. He's a good one, they tell us. Billy Ray Smith, High Allard is also a rookie with Thomas Benson and Fred Robinson. Davis, Walters, Dale, and Bird in the secondary. Tony Nathan's in the lineup now. Marino operates from the shotgun, third down and three. comes and a brilliant play by Danny Walters. The pass to Nathan Walters, the left quarterback, stayed at home. He did stay at home. The Dolphins brought four wide receivers into the football game, as well as number 22, Tony Nathan. He's the man in the backfield watching to the right of your screen, coming out of the backfield, but he doesn't get enough for the first down. That's the problem. That more is coming inside. He might have had enough for the first down, but Reno chose to go with Nathan, who didn't pick it up. Reggie Roby on to do the punting. Average 39.2 in preseason. Lionel Little Train James downfield. James coming up, fair catch at the 28-yard line. And that's where the Chargers will put it in play. We have eight minutes and 35 seconds left to play. We are in the first quarter here as the Chargers have gone on top seven to nothing. That was a 37-yard punt by the veteran Roby out of Iowa, who has done a splendid job over the years. First down for San Diego. Joyner comes into the slot right. There goes Joyner to the far side. And Fouts on the delay. The little train trying to pick up some steam. And it was Jackie Ship who made the stop on James. Ship number 50 making the play at about the 32-yard line. Well, our first opportunity to wish you a very pleasant good afternoon, a beautiful day in Southern California. Jimmy, wonderful to be here with you in what already has been an exciting football game, and it's going to be one whale of an afternoon it's here. Good, it's, it's certainly, it's good to see you too, Jay. The advantage the Chargers have right off the bat, of course, is the fact that they're scoring first. The, the Dolphins have the problem of going at this game from behind, and it's Gary Anderson again. Anderson almost breaks it. Bud Brown made the stop. There is a penalty marker down. They're going to bring this one back. The illegal procedure against San Diego. complete stop before a man can move. 89 did not come to a complete stop. Second down. 
Okay, that's the same play they tried to work earlier in the game, the second play of the game, where they had motion once again, trying to get Anderson down the sideline. Apparently, they feel they have a good matchup between Anderson and one of the defensive backs for the Dolphins. 61-year-old Don Coriel looking on. Wes Chandler, the man who committed that infraction. Of course, familiar to many of our viewers. He played at Florida. Down the middle. It is complete. That is Chandler at midfield in the first down. William Judson made the tackle. But at the moment, Air Coriel is flying very smoothly. And he has a lot of weapons to go to. Fouts has a variety of people that can hurt you, be it Wes Chandler or Gary Anderson. He's short. He sets so short in the pocket. It's difficult to get to Fouts. There you see him just with a three-step drop and directly on stride to Wes Chandler. Fitting it in between three defenders. There you see in the middle of your screen, Lang for number 44 going up on top. And Wes Chandler in between. A great throw by Dan Fouts. Here goes Joyner in motion. Now coming back the other way and the give to Lionel James. And the little train gets down to the 42-yard line. James last year was just too shy of the NFL record for running backs in receiving. He had 86 catches. He's a very exciting player. He has 11 yards on two carries. Bud Brown, 43 on the tackle. James comes out of the lineup. Fouts is 5 for 7, 65 yards, and the touchdown pass to Anderson. 6.15 to go, first quarter. Now James is back. It's Anderson. Anderson cutting in, gets the first down. George Little, 99. John Operdahl, 56, making the stop. We saw Dan Fouts a moment ago, Jimmy. He was very upset on that motion call. Don Shula, 56 years old, Painesville, Ohio, your former coach. My former coach, and he's got his hands full this afternoon. My point before, Jay, is that you don't want to get behind earlier in this football game because Don Shula wants to control the ball a little bit with a running game. But if you get down 14 points or down seven already, you have trouble running the football, especially against the Chargers. Well, they put Joyner in motion again. Bounce a lot of time. He comes out here to Joyner, and Joyner is out of bounds after picking up the first down at the 16-yard line. Again, they're working on Judson, 49 out there. Joyner, now in his 18th season, he wears his years right on his jersey. Now watch the prop. They had a little bit of traffic problem here. Traffic control, they need a cop in the middle. There's Winslow, and what he's doing, he's also getting bumped to the ground, but he's preventing number 45, 49, William Judson, from getting over into his coverage responsibility. That's their thought. Get all those great wide receivers on opposite ends, cross them across the middle, and cause a traffic problem. Spencer and McGee are now in the backfield with Anderson. Buford McGee to the 17-yard line. This is a third-year man, McGee out of Mississippi. And he's a fellow that kind of makes the option go here. Oferdahl, a rookie, 56. Brzezinski, 59 on the tackle. Clock running with five minutes to play. First quarter, San Diego, Jack Murphy Stadium, and the Chargers leading at 7 to nothing. Near the 16-yard line. Dan versus Dan here this afternoon. Out to Marino. Hooking up. Pitch back coming to Anderson. And he got maybe a yard. Stop made by Jackie Ship. Time to bring you up to date. They're still playing at Chicago. 34-31 the Bears. In the fourth quarter, you saw that Washington score. Houston wins over Green Bay. This is a feature we'll have for you throughout the season. Atlanta over New Orleans and San Francisco defeating Tampa Bay. Ten-minute ticker coming your way. New England over Indianapolis in the early going. Kansas City leading Cincinnati. Nothing yet at Seattle. McGee is going down. Tried to lateral that ball off, and he did. McGee got it to Anderson, who is near the six-yard line. Bud Brown knocked him out of bounds over there. There's, you see Anderson 
runs a little like Gale Sayers. Yeah, he certainly does. This is, when you talk about the Charger offense, this is like drawing it up in the dirt. You know, you got a stick in the playground in the dirt, you drew it up, well, I'll go down and I'll pitch it back to you, and then you pitch it back to me, and that's what the Chargers do under Coriel. The first down is at the six-yard line. Chargers are already leading seven to nothing. Anderson, the single setback behind Dan Fouts. Fouts throwing and incomplete. It looked like he was going to Pete Hollihan. Joyner showed up at the last second to help out, or Judson might have intercepted that. Now, that's one of the unusual times where Fouts really threw the ball into coverage. He had no business going into that corner of the end zone. If there's that much traffic in that area, you just get rid of it and get it out of bounds. Look at the area here. There are four or five people in the vicinity, two receivers with the possibility, but you're absolutely right. It was Joyner's ball to take, and William Judson, number 49, just gets in there with the traffic problem. It's an incomplete pass. Second down, goal to go at the six. Anderson and Spencer in the backfield. This is Anderson. Anderson down to the three-yard line. They piled him up in there, and Brzezinski, 59, leading the way. The former Ram who joined Miami in 81. Anderson is out of Arkansas. Anderson, of course, one of many USFL players, now back in the National Football League. Charlie Joyner needs 114 to pass Don Maynard. Mr. Joyner is something special. He has 716 is. receptions, most ever in the NFL, coming into today. Third down and three. McGee. McGee in deep trouble. Down he goes, back at the 10. Fine play by Paul Lankford, number 44, the strong safety who makes the play. We'll get Vanershka to come on, the field goal unit. Now, Vanershka is the young man who, of course, has had all the stomach disorders. Out of Cal Davis, now in his ninth year, originally a Raider draft choice as Fouts goes off. Manershka, though, is okay physically, but he had a very poor preseason field goal-wise. He's going to attempt this one with Mojenko holding at the 16, a 26-yarder. Third most accurate field goal kicker in the league coming into this year. And he delivers. Two minutes and 18 seconds remaining to be played here in the first quarter. And the Chargers have bounced out to a 10 to nothing advantage. Right now, time to update you to New York, Bob Costas. All right, Jay, let's check the debut of Jim Kelly in Buffalo. Bill's first possession takes them 53 yards and nine plays for the score, capping it off with this one yarder to Greg Bell for the touchdown. And on the drive, Kelly was three for three. Back out to the Jaybird. All right, Robert, thank you, and uh, best of luck to you and my old partner, of course, Paul McGuire and Frank DeFord, your new guys, and to Ahmad, I know you're going to have a great year on NFL 86. We've got a 10 to nothing score on the board, Jimmy. Does this surprise you, the way the Chargers have been able to come out here? Well, it does. They had the early mistake by Mark Clayton dropping the football on the punt return. And that's enough to make anybody's blood boil. And you can bet Don Shula right now is starting to boil really quickly under the San Diego sun. You know, both coaches had mentioned to us yesterday that they would have rather start someplace else. But unfortunately, this is the opener. This is where the NFL schedule puts it. That's the way it is. Carter across the 10 at the 15, the 20, 25, out to the 27-yard line. Nice work by Carter. Fred Robinson, the linebacker, number 90, making the play. 2.09 left to go in this first quarter, and the Chargers leading it 10 to nothing. Dan Marino in 85, 59.3%, 30 touchdowns. Marino has thrown 98 touchdowns. This is game number 44 for him. to Hampton. Lorenzo Hampton. Good continuous effort across the 32-yard line. Hampton, who played at Florida, very explosive runner. Gilbert, 22 on the tackle. 
Hampton is the guy that the Dolphins are looking forward to trying to establish a running game with. He and Ron Davenport, two second-year players. But down 10 to nothing this early, Jay, you wonder how long they're going to go and try to establish that type of a, a running game as it is. The Chargers just blowing them away with 118 total yards to just 13 for the Dolphins. Second down and six from the 32. Marino loses the football, and it looks like the Chargers are going to get it. It was Thomas Benson, 57, Billy Ray Smith, 54. They were in there. Don Shula sees Marino, and the Dolphins cough it up again. Benson credited with coming up with a football. It was Billy Ray Smith that hit in there and dislodged the ball. Billy Ray's daddy is here watching him play today. And he will enjoy this, watching this replay. Number 91 and number 90, that's Leslie O'Neill. He's the rookie. Number 54, Billy Ray Smith. He dislodges the ball away from Marino, and that's the second big mistake that Olsen made in just the first quarter. Marino does something uncharacteristic here. He usually gets rid of the football, but he's in traffic now. Billy Ray gets that left hand around the side and knocks the ball away. Second big mistake. Here's the pitch back to Anderson, and Anderson fumbles as he got near the 22-yard line. He was down. The ground cannot cause a fumble, as you know, probably from reading recent rules or watching recent NFL action. George Little, 99 on the tackle. Well, his 24th season in the National Football League, Don Shula. Let's see if Anderson was down before that ball went out. Well, I'll tell you. Close. Here's a look from the other side, number 43, Bud Brown. He's known as a hitter. Looked like he had one knee down. A little tough to tell about the other one. Right. The ground can't cause a fumble, but somebody's helmet can. Wide receivers both set to the right side. They go the other way with Anderson. Steps outside, has the first down. Jackie Ship, number 50, ran him out of bounds over there. Ship, the number one draft choice, now in his third year out of Oklahoma. The Sooners, very impressive yesterday in their victory over UCLA. Jackie Ship has been a player that has not developed very quickly for the Dolphins. He was drafted a couple of years ago, back in 83, and did not establish himself as the hard, tough linebacker they thought he would right off the bat. Now, a couple of years later, with some experience under his belt, Chuck Studley, the defensive coordinator, feels that he's improved, but not to the point where he's playing like a number one choice. Anderson, 31 carries, or 31 yards on six carries. Joyner goes in motion to the far side. Spencer is at the 10. Five. Touchdown! San Diego putting it on him. Tremendous block on this play when you see it again. Wes Chandler, 89, was the man that made it happen over the right side. Don Shula's Dolphins in early trouble here. Now watch the block downfield. Wes Chandler, number 89, he'll come into your screen. Down the bottom, number 43, Spencer is following. Watch, he's up there chicken fighting with him. That's what a wide receiver does. He chicken fights, Jay. You just get up in somebody's face and you, you fight and... Uh, you hope the back is good enough to break off your back. Banerska with the extra point. 24 seconds left to play. First quarter. 17 to nothing Chargers. Well, who would have expected it to be this way in the early going? Tim Spencer, you have Gary Anderson, Lionel James, we haven't seen a great deal of yet. You got Kellen Winslow, you got Wes Chandler, you've got Tremaine Johnson on the bench. They may have the greatest array of especially people that has ever been assembled on one football team in the National Football League team. The two turnovers, and both times the turnover, allowing Don Coriel's club to put points on the board. Chicago wins by 10 over Cleveland. That's now a final. Washington over Philadelphia, 41-14 a final. The Rams beat St. Louis. Houston over Green Bay. And it was Detroit over Minnesota. San Francisco, a final 31 to 7. And here now are the scores of the later games. Raiders and Denver tied 7-all first period. As the kickoff is coming down to Joe Carter once more. He's at the 10. 15 at the 20. And Carter gets to the 23-yard line. 
Woody Lowe, the veteran outside linebacker, there to make the play. Lowe, who wears number 51, New England with an early lead against Indianapolis. Kansas City leading Cincinnati, 7 0. Pittsburgh at Seattle, they're scoreless in the second quarter. Here in San Diego, 17 to nothing. The Dolphins trying to get their offense going. They expected both of these clubs to be able to put points on the board, but up to now, the Dolphins haven't had the football that much because of the turnovers. Play action, and the pass comes to Hampton. Hampton. Hit at about the 24-yard line by Billy Ray Smith, number 54. I'd like to welcome those of you who have been watching the Bears and the Browns as Chicago won at 41 to 31. Jay Randolph with Jimmy Cephalo. Beautiful afternoon in Southern California. But not for that man. The Dolphins find themselves down 17 to nothing. A couple of Gary Anderson touchdowns and a field goal. And we are at the end of the first period here at San Diego Jack Murphy Stadium. And that's right, it is the Chargers 17 and the Dolphins nothing. Back with more action for you right after these messages. This buds. For all that you do. They said this city was through. You said, no way. Each day the spirit's growing. Your pride is really showing. You, you make America work. And it's fun for you. Here's to you. Beechwood Age for that clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. This buds for you. Welcome to the auto show. We need an inexpensive... Dependable. ...first car. <laughs> See the Yugo. I need a tough little car. Yeah. See the Yugo. We need a safe... Economical second, second car. car. Oh, see the Yugo. For most of the reasons you need a car, the Yugo is all the car you need. Wow! $39.90! Maybe you don't want to spend more than $39.90 for a new car, but until now, you've had to. Everybody needs a Yugo sometime. Yugo. $39.90. Starting September 1st, American Express is changing the way America shops. There's something special going on in stores across the country. A brand new service from American Express. Announcing Buyer's Assurance. It doubles the repair period of the manufacturer's warranty. Doubles it up to an extra year. All you have to do is use the American Express card. Any place in the country till the end of the year. Now why would you shop with anything else? 159 yards for San Diego to 14 for Miami in the first quarter. And the Dolphins, second down and nine at the 24-yard line. You see the most yards gained in the years. Good protection, Marino throws, and it's complete to Nat Moore. Nat, the 13-year veteran from Florida. 71 career touchdowns for that great veteran. First down. Time to check in again with Bob Costas. Robert? Jay, it's another renewal of hostilities between the Raiders and Broncos, this time in Denver. Mark Wilson over the middle to last year's MVP, Marcus Allen. 24 yards later, he's tied the game at seven. Earlier, John Elway hit Steve Watson from 35 for the Bronx. First down at the 35-yard line. The handoff to Hampton. And Lorenzo is bumped down hard by Billy Ray Smith. Smith is the defensive leader right there, number 54. Played at Arkansas. And you uh, kind of look, Hampton looking at him a little bit, saying, how do you do that? <laughs> Billy Ray's dad, of course, was a tremendous player in this league. Uh, spent many years with Baltimore. And Billy Ray is going to be a tremendous player as well, Jay. They use him much as Denver uses Carl Mecklenburg and as the Dolphins used A.J. Dewey for years. He can play down, he can play up, he can cover somebody out of the backfield, or he can blitz from a variety of positions. He can fuse his offenses. Mark Clayton, Nat Moore, and Mark Duper all in the lineup. Second down and nine. Long one downfield that is complete to Clayton. Penalty marker down, Wayne Davis. 
the quarterback number 20 on the tackle but there is a marker down on the play back at the 36 yard line offside Chargers the play stands defense decline first off Jimmy as you well know the Dolphins have been behind before to these Chargers big they're down 17 to nothing here's a look Marino stands in the pocket, takes quite a lick from number 91. That's Leslie O'Neill, but he hangs in there and delivers it. He knew he had a free play. He probably saw out of the corner of his eye that the charges were offside. It was a little obvious from up here. I'm sure it was on the field. He had a freebie down to number 83. Whether you completed it or not, might as well go for the home run when you've got a freebie. 40 yards on the play and a first down at the 24. Marino's got good protection. He goes out to Duper, and Duper picks up about seven or eight. Davis 20, Walters 23 on the tackle, and one of the Chargers is shaken up back at the 26-yard line. Oddly enough, that's the first time that we've heard from Mark Duper this afternoon, and he happens to be Dan Marino's favorite target. He has been over the past couple of years. That's the rookie nose man, Terry Unrein, who is down, number 98. We have a timeout with 13.03 remaining in the first half. The Chargers lead 17 to nothing. Here they lie, the family sedans of the past. Bulky, boxy, portraits in obsolescence. But one performance sedan has refused to join these relics. The Dodge Lancer, sleek line advanced interior front wheel drive all at an affordable price the Lancer is making history instead of becoming part of it Dodge setting new standards of performance America rides Monroe America rides Monroe on the road the way to go America rides Monroe more people ride Monroe shocks and struts than any other brand. And right now, get up to $20 in rebates. Get $2 back on each Monroe Matic Plus. And $5 back on each Gas Magnum or Gas Matic. They'll give you the best ride ever, guaranteed. On the road, the way to go. America rides Monroe. Thank you for calling Bob's. I need my VCR fixed. Please direct any service questions directly to our distributor in Indonesia. Got any trees? With many audio and video products, good luck finding good service. But at Curtis Mathis Home Entertainment Centers, we promise you quick response and dependable service. You see, our terrific audio and video products aren't the only reasons it's worth coming to Curtis Mathis. Curtis Mathis, is it really worth it to go anywhere else? <laughs> game is brought to you by America's Best Back Trucks. At Dodge, we don't just talk tough, we prove it. By Radio Shack, a division of the Tandy Corporation. And by Wheaties, 100% whole wheat for energy to feel like a champion. Wheaties, what the big boys eat. Second down and three at the 17 for the Dolphins. Down 17 to nothing. Marino going long and just over the outstretched fingertips of Mark Clayton. Coverage back there by Walters, 23. Don Shula. Only Don, only uh, George Hallis has more wins than he does. 7-7 uh, now, the Raiders in Denver. Same score, Jets and Buffalo. San Diego leading here, of course. That was Marino's first incompletion a moment ago. New England, 3-0 over Indianapolis. Kansas City still leading Cincinnati. Nothing doing yet at Seattle. Here's third down and three. Four wide receivers in the game now. James Pruitt, who missed the airplane out here yesterday. Number 82 is in the game. He's looking very, very good in preseason. Penalty marker down. Pass coming to Clayton. Clayton inside the 10-yard line before he's hit by Davis, number 20. And let's see what the penalty is. Line judge indicates the illegal procedure against Miami. Those of you who just joined us, 10.52 of the first quarter, fouls to Gary Anderson, who hurtled over the goal line, 18-yard play. Number 68, offense. Greg Cook committed the violation. 
2.18 of the first quarter. Bernerska kicks a 26-yard field goal, and then with 24 seconds left in the first period, Fouts, Tim Spencer, and a score of 17 yards on the play, 17 to nothing. Greg Cook with the mistake, and it's unusual. He is a veteran, a free agent picked up by the Dolphins from the Packers, but the entire Charger left side of their defense was coming that time. Got a little nervous in there, Jay. A little happy feet before the snap. Terry Unrein, number 98, back in for the Chargers. He was shaken up a moment ago. Marino changing the play to the line of scrimmage. It's a trouble to do that. We're in a shot down. Marino down the middle. Oh, it's a beautiful play indeed. What a score that is. As that man right there has to be pleased with what Marino did. Mark Clayton caught it after Marino changes the play at the line of scrimmage. This is a big play by Marino, figuring out the line of scrimmage. He talks to his receivers by stepping up to the line of scrimmage. And when you've got man-to-man -man coverage and you're Mark Clinton against anybody, it really doesn't matter because Kevin Wyatt which is left in the dust by him. He's got that, that movement that's tough for a defensive back. Wyatt, a draft choice of the Dolphins, who came over here a couple of weeks ago. That's right. He's seen the Clayton's uh, moves many times in practice before. That was Fouad Reves kicking the extra point. 22-yard touchdown reception by Clayton. And we have 12 minutes left to go in the first half. You're about to go down a road you've never been down before, behind the wheel of a truck you've never seen. It's new from Dodge. It's called Dakota. Claiming the ground between the heart of a full-size and the sole of a compact. It's the first true mid-size pickup ever made. With an available 3.9 liter V6, there's plenty of thunder under the hood. Inside, room for three. Outside, an optional eight-foot bed carries a full-size load. The new mid-size Dakota. You fall. Climb aboard. Cross into Dakota territory. Dodge Dakota. The new state of the American truck. Managing information means storing it, finding it, and moving it from A to B. When that meant linking 800 miles of Alaskan pipeline, they called Contel. When it meant matching orders to inventory at the Stoneham Lumber Company, they called Contel. Small business, fall order. Contel can help you manage information better, too. For Contel, I'm Charlton Nest. Next Sunday, the NFL plays here when the Raiders battle the Redskins. Before your team takes the field, our team hits the air. NFL 86. 17-7, San Diego. Here in the second quarter, Quad Reves set to put it in play. McGee 21 and Lionel James 26 downfield. The Dolphins on the board. Sellout crowd, San Diego Jack Murphy Stadium on a picture postcard afternoon here in Southern California. That's James, and he will down it. He'll come out to the 20 yard line. Get a chance to see Marino. This is what you get when you pay $9 million. Yeah, this is a $9 million throw, that's for certain. The problem with the shotgun is that it's difficult to audible, change the play at the line of scrimmage. You see him doing it there two ways, both with his voice and with his arms, telling his wide receiver what he wants them to do. He gets a man-to-man -man coverage against Wyatt, number 30, with Clayton, number 83, in the slot. And uh, Mr. Wyatt, fifth-round choice of the Dolphins just this past year, finds out why he was cut because Clayton beat him in practice like a drum. On first down, Bounce throws out into the right flat to Little Train James. They pick up yardage to the 24, almost to the 25. Lankford 44 and Brudzinski 59 on the stop. Clock running now with 11 and a half to go in this, the first half of action. Bounce 
now in his 14th year, 47 300 yard games in his fine career. Spencer looks like he's got the first down. Overdahl 56, Jackie Ship 50 on the play. Spencer, great blocker, hurt his ankle in the St. Louis preseason game, but has bounced back. There's the scoring drive. Marino to Clayton as he really put it on consignment. Spencer now has 28 yards on three carries, has a touchdown. From the 32-yard line, Joyner goes in motion. Out it comes. Anderson drops the ball. Time again for an update with Bob Costas. All right, Jay, after a 54-yarder from Mark Wilson to Doki Williams sets it up, Wilson goes to the tight end Todd Christensen for 16 at Denver, and the Raiders have the lead 14-7 over the Broncos. The Raiders beat them twice in overtime last year. Well, the action there in the Mile High City and here in San Diego, Chargers leading 17-7. Anderson and James are now in the backfield. Jerome Foster, 78, is the nose man right now for the Dolphins as Fouts throws, and it's complete to Joyner. Joyner has the first down. He knew where the marker was and got out of bounds right at the 43-yard line in front of William Judson. Joyner out of Grambling. What a dandy he's been over the years. Only Jeff Nan Note of Atlanta is older than him as far as the National Football League competition goes. At 39, Jay, the oldest wide receiver to ever play this game. It's amazing. You know, I got out of the game, I think, at 27, and I felt like an older guy after getting beat up for a while. He's been getting beaten up for 18 full seasons. Tank Younger was telling us yesterday. Tank now with the Chargers. Remarkable shape. The joiner's still in after all these years. Ball is away, and have we got another turnover? No. It is going to belong to the Dolphins as Jerome Foster came in there. Masick, 62, down on the ball. And Masick holds on. Yeah, but it's also his man, number 78, Jerome Foster, that gets by Masick and makes the big hit on Dan Fouts. That's got to hurt. Well, you know what, though? After, after you get beat out of play, I might as well go back and see if you can pick anything up. That time he picked up the football. Foster at the nose position, not playing today. Mike Charles suspended for four games. Missed a couple of practices this week. Refused to take a drug test. And he is on the shelf. Second and 21. Lionel James. They tried the draw, hoping the Dolphins were looking for the pass. It's out to the 38-yard line. Mac Moore, number 91 for the Dolphins, making the play. He came over from the BC Lions in 85. James going out. James, the smallest player in the National Football League, five, six and a half, ring and wet, 170 pounds from Auburn. Third down and 16. Jay, after the first quarter, the Dolphins had the ball for a mere three and a half minutes. San Diego, 11 and a half. And that does not produce very many points. Not for the Dolphins, it doesn't. Over the middle, first down. Tremaine Johnson, who has been getting better a couple of seasons in the USFL. And 171 catches in his two years over there. Bud Brown, 43 on the tackle. Yeah, but in his years here in the NFL, this is second season. That was just his fifth catch overall. We mentioned earlier the patchwork of the Miami Dolphins secondary. There you see number 42, middle of your screen, Lyle Black, was trying to get over. But uh, again, Fouts threads the needle between a variety of people. Eight minutes, 20 seconds to go in the first half. Chargers leading 17 to 7. James and Spencer in the backfield now. About straight back. Throws too high. Pass was intended for Wes Chandler. Judson had the coverage. Chandler took a dive on the play as he went up. He hit as he went down. The pass much too tall. The Raiders now leading Denver 16-7. Judson Buffalo at 7-all in the second. Our game here. Then it's New England, shutting out Indianapolis, Cincinnati, and Kansas City tied at seven in the second. Still no scoring Pittsburgh at Seattle. 
Bouts is 10 out of 15, 122 yards and a touchdown. Doug Betters, 75, who signed this past week. A nine-year veteran from Nevada, Reno, number 75 in the lineup. Bouts throws to the far side. Incomplete. At the 28-yard line, James, the intended receiver. The linebacker, Hugh Green, over there. They had him isolated one-on-one, -on -one, but James couldn't hold on. Well, Hugh Green, a good cover linebacker, but it's always a mismatch. I don't care who the linebacker happens to be, Hugh Green or anybody else. When you're going against the little train, Lionel James, a year ago, he lit up the NFL with all-purpose yardage. And uh, I'd be very surprised if he didn't get close to that total once again. He's an exciting performer. Don Coriel just oozes confidence about his abilities. He says good things come in small packages when it comes to Lionel Little Train James. James went in motion. Fouts throwing and batted away. He was trying to go to Kellen Winslow. Tremaine Johnson was also in the zone over there. Good work by Paul Langford, number 44, and number 28, Don McNeil. They nearly picked another one off. A second time. It is early in the season, Jay, but that's the second time this afternoon that Fouts has made a poor decision and thrown right in the middle of coverage. Nat Moore is dropping back as the middleman to receive this punt. got Mark Herman on the field now. Yeah, they're going to run this They're going to run this ball. We're expecting them to punt, but they're not. Well, here's a wrinkle. I think they're going to take the five yards, aren't they? Yeah, Mashenko's just going for a stroke. Yeah, okay. back and forth. I, I looked up and I see Herman out on the field, number nine. <laughs> that's another, you know, what you kid. You never it's, know what Don Coriel no, you do. That's back in the, the schoolyard, drawing it up in the dirt once again. How about we send the punter out this time? He stands back there. The quarterback will stand up and make a snap. Tell the punter to walk around for a while until the referee blows the whistle. If the referee's watch was wrong, Majenka would be a tired young man now. Mm. And here is Dick Jordan. Number nine, offense, still fourth down. <laughs> Don Shula yelling out. There you see Mark Herman's stats. Boy, he had a good preseason. All three quarterbacks look good for the Chargers. Fouts Herman and the youngster Tom Flick. Impressive. Well, I have a feeling that with this offense, with those people back there, you could go down and play quarterback Jay and do all right. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Ralph Mojenko out of Michigan State to do the punting. Matt Moore is deep. Moore calls for a fair catch and gathers it in at the eight-yard line. And some will say, should he have called for a fair catch inside the 10? But we'll take a timeout with San Diego leading 17 to 7. Oh, Just because you've washed your car doesn't mean you're finished. You need some armor all on the dash, the bumper, and especially the tires. My armor all. It's the finishing touch every time you wash your car. Leave it to the good hands, people. There's much emphasis on youth these days. It's great that Allstate appreciates the wisdom and dignity of us mature folks. We can save 10% on Allstate homeowners insurance and save on car insurance, too. But you have to be 55 and retired. So, to those youngsters who've not attained such lofty stature, a word from the wise. Nya, 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 nya. You're in good hands with Allstate. A member of the Sears Financial Network. I like your thinking. It's the solution we've been searching for. Well, we've included networking, multi-user systems, as well as PC-compatible workstations and software. And I like your installation. Support, training, service. Radio Shack computer centers have it all. I know we can do business. Tandy Computers, only at Radio Shack. In business, for business. This water damage is going to run $750. What would have stopped it? Thompson's Water Seal protects wood, brick, and concrete with its special waterproofing formula. Thompson's Water Seal, a great defense against repair expense. I'm Brian Gumbel, live from Hollywood. A special today at night looks at TV's past, present, and future with guests Jackie Gleason, Bill Cosby, and much more. Join us Thursday night. 
17 to 7. The Chargers have the lead. Uh, Nat Moore, an old teammate of yours, just making a fair catch inside the 10. That a good idea? Well, it depends. It depends on the flight of the ball. Usually you stand right against the 10, and if it goes behind you, just leave it go. But if the ball is floating around back there, I think Nat made the right choice. Besides, he taught me how to do that. I'm not going to second guess him now. No, no, indeed. First and 10 at the nine yard line. Looks like Marino may have called an audible. On a throw out of there, complete to the far sideline. That's the tight end, Bruce Hardy, number 84. Hardy, who was a quarterback in college and played at Arizona State. Fred Robinson, number 90, made the stop. Bruce Hardy is one of the best equipped football players I've ever known. He snaps for punts, for extra points. He played quarterback in a Dolphin game a couple of years ago, can play fullback if you need him to, and is quite a tight end. Mentioned earlier Joe Rose on injured reserve with a quadricep injury. They'd like to get him back as soon as possible. They would. He's a good possession tight end, catches the football over the middle without thinking about it very much. They got the first down from the 20. Going long. And it is incomplete. Mark Clayton. Wayne Davis had the coverage. Leslie O'Neill made Marino pay for it. He did, and Wayne Davis, number 20, quite a play downfield, a very good play. You'll watch in your screen down the bottom. Here he is, Clayton, number 20, or excuse me, Clayton, 83, against Davis, number 20. It's anybody's ball at this point, and just at the end, he leaps in to take the ball away from Clayton. Another look at it from this angle. Great play, both of them going after the football. And swipes it away. Would have been a big gainer for the Dolphins. Big play by Davis. Those pictures right there tell the tale about the remarkable athletes that play in the National Football League, especially as a cornerback and as a wide receiver. Bob Levy and our crew bringing you the sights, sounds of today. Over the middle, drops. Mark Duper. Duper is trying to hold on at the 33. It was a tough catch. Danny Walters, 23, had the coverage. That's the toughest catch in football for a wide receiver coming ac across the middle. And I don't care how many times they tell you not to think about that defensive back looking you in the eye, but self-preservation takes over somewhere along the line. And in that case, Walters was the thing that made the Mark Duper think twice about catching the ball. Dolphins have Clayton, Pruitt, Moore, and Duper all in the lineup. Third down and 10 from the 20. Tony Nathan, number 22, also in there. Blitz, down goes Marino at the 11, and it was number 99, Lee Williams. They got him in the supplemental draft. The folks in Florida remember he played at Hume Cookman, pass rusher of the first magnitude, this big man. He certainly is, and they had everybody coming on this play. Ron Lynn, the defensive coordinator of the Chargers, said, you know, we can't sit back and match up with the Dolphin receivers because they're just too good at this point. They wanted to get some pressure, and that pressure came in the form of 99 Williams on that play. Second sack for San Diego. Dolphins have one. Reggie Roby to do the punting. Lionel James to receive. James, fair catch at around the 40-yard line. That's quite a pun under a great deal of pressure by Roby. Timeout. Seven minutes to play. First half. Chargers 17, Dolphins 7. This buds for all that you do. They said this city was through. You said no way. Each day the spirit's growing. Your pride is really showing you. You make America work and this buds for you. Here's to you. Beechwood Age for that clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. This buds for you. Starting September 1st, American Express is changing the way America shops. 
there's something special going on in stores across the country. A brand new service from American Express. Announcing Buyer's Assurance. It doubles the repair period of the manufacturer's warranty. Doubles it up to an extra year. All you have to do is use the American Express card. Any place in the country till the end of the year. Now, why would you shop with anything else? Aha. There's a thief in this attic. This skimpy amount of insulation can rob you blend on your fuel bill. <laughs> Fight back with the attic blanket from Owens Corning. It's the thickest, most powerful roll of pink insulation you can add. It can help you save money on your fuel bill. It is an open and shut case. Uh, Owens Corning. We put your house in the pink. Folks here, of course, are looking forward to Super Bowl 22, January 31st of 88. It'll be played right here. They've made some additions to this stadium. Seats over 60,000 now. San Diego leading 17 to 7. Second quarter. Billy Ray Smith. He is the guy that they are looking forward to really mixing it up for the rest of the year and for quite a career. He's just a youngster in a good one. Anderson cuts it back in, gets to midfield, close to the first down at the 49. John Offerdahl, number 56, makes the tackle. A reminder to our viewers, we'll be selecting the Budweiser most valuable player in today's game. At the conclusion of the action, Raiders now 19-7 over the Denver Broncos. Jets and Buffalo tied at 7. San Diego leading here 17 to 7. New England leads 10 to 3 over Indianapolis. Cincinnati and Kansas City tied up and nobody's been able to score yet. Pittsburgh at Seattle. Give right up the middle to Tim Spencer. Spencer near the 45 yard line. Oferdahl 56 and Jerome Foster 78 on the stop. Oferdahl is someone we have not spoken about thus far. Jay, he's a linebacker the Dolphins have been looking for maybe since Nick Bonacani left about uh, 10 years ago or so. Tough linebacker, smart. He's calling signals. There you see him accepting them from the sideline and walking to the huddle and just a rookie. Very talented, too. He also plays the French horn. When he's that big, Jay, he can play any instrument he wants. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Anderson, seven carries, 40 yards. And this is Anderson coming in motion. And they give it to Buford McGee. McGee in on that dirt infield of the baseball diamond. Hugh Green, 55 on the tackle, right at about the 40-yard line. Five and a half minutes to play in the first half. In the four prior possessions, San Diego scored to make it 7-0. They get the field goal, and they scored again, and then they punt it, so they've done very well. Buford McGee, 12 yards on four carries this afternoon. Wes Chandler goes wide to the right. Mac Moore 91 and better 75 at the ends now. Baumhauer playing the nose 73 for Miami. Bounce goes long, nobody there. Wes Chandler was down the right side. Lankford had the coverage down there, but the pass way overthrown. Well, that was just a double coverage. I think Fouts may have just let it fly to get it away from the double coverage you saw downfield. That's what a veteran does for you. Not going to throw into double coverage very often, although, as we said earlier, he has done it twice today, uncharacteristically. Fouts has thrown an average of 46 passes a game in the four games of the 80s against the Dolphins. A total 184 passes, which he completed 110 for 60 percent, chalked up 1,230 passing yards in the four games. Got a man. It's complete. Holohan at the seven. Bud Brown made the stop. There is the six-year veteran from Notre Dame, Callahan, a quarterback in high school, number seven draft pick back in 81. He's fired up. So spots. You can tell, Jay, back to what we were talking about before. They're trying to get all the traffic going in the same direction for the Dolphins secondary, trying to confuse them. Here you see a couple of people getting confused, and number 88, Pete Holohan, going downfield getting be behind all of that traffic and making the catch. The Dolphins secondary is going to have to adjust, play a little bit more zone and a little less man-to-man. -man. They're going to be successful this afternoon. Spencer and McGee in the backfield. This is McGee. 
McGee gets down to the four-yard line. Hugh Green, 55. Initial charge for the Dolphins with Baumhauer, 73, and under there. Clock running with four and a half to go. The Chargers already lead 17 to 7 and are trying to get more. Anderson and McGee now in the backfield. Anderson wears number 40. McGee, number 21. Klaus, who played at Oregon. Number three draft choice back in 73. Second down and goal to go. Anderson going motion right. Pitch back to McGee. McGee makes a big move and scores! First half. McGee 18 yards on six carries in the touchdown. Banerska with Mozhenko holding. It's blocked. I mentioned that Banerska's had a little trouble that time. He didn't get it high enough, quick enough. The score 23 to 7. The Chargers lead the Dolphins. You might be able to make it on your old antifreeze another year. But then again, you just might find yourself left out in the cold. Driving just 10,000 miles on weak, neglected antifreeze can cause freeze-up and make a radiator look this bad. While a Presto radiator looks this good. So, for maximum protection, don't push your luck. Change it once a year, every year, with fresh Presto. Any kind of tools for every kind of job. One place and one name give you more good choices than anywhere else. Sears and Craftsman. There's more for your life than theirs. Life is full of changes, and State Farm is there. I'm State Farm agent George Palmy. If your family's like mine, you'll find reminders of how fast things change. Wasn't so long ago my daughter Jill was riding in this. Now she drives this. Look around you. If you see your insurance needs have changed, auto, home, life or health, see your State Farm agent for a family insurance checkup. The advice is free. And like a good neighbor. And the decisions are yours. Miami Vice. San Diego 23. Miami 7. And we have 402 left to play. Chargers have scored on four of their five possessions. A couple of turnovers have been very helpful for San Diego. Number two there, set to put the ball in play. It's Mojenko this time. He's going to do the kicking off. Carter and Hampton are back. Lorenzo Hampton out across the 10. 15, outside at the 20, and steps out of bounds at the 25-yard line. To show you some fine footwork coming up on that touchdown a moment ago. Now, coaches tell defensive backs to just watch the numbers of a running back because he can't move the numbers. Stare him right in the chest. He can move his head and his hips. Well, I think he moved his number that time with number 44, Paul Lankford, because McGee went by him as if Lankford was just standing still and not looking straight at his chest. Total yardage to this point, 257 yards for the Chargers, 105 yards for Miami. Teams have three timeouts remaining here in the first half. It's first to ten to go at the 25-yard line for the Dolphins. Matt Moore, 89, with Duper, 85, and Clayton, 83, are in the lineup. And Marino throws, and it's a beautiful catch by Duper. Duper getting out to the 40-yard line. Davis and Bird, 20 and 22, making the play. Denver's come back to get within five of the Raiders in the second period. 
No change in that Jets Buffalo score. San Diego leading at 23 to 7 here now. New England leading 10 to 3. Kansas City tied up with Cincinnati and Seattle scored first, 6 to nothing against the Steelers second period. Hampton and Moore both set to the right side. Clayton and Duper. Marino once again changing the play at the line of scrimmage. And operating now out of the gun. Marino throws back into the middle to the tight end. Hardy. Hardy gets to the 49-yard line of the Chargers. Wayne Davis making the play. And Billy Ray Smith was coming that time on a blitz, but he got caught inside as Marino moved to the right. Coming up at halftime, Bob Costas, our NFL 86 crew, will bring you up to date on the happenings on this first Sunday of the 86 season, or actually it's the 87 season. Or no, it's the 60, 86, uh, 67th 67 season. 67th season. <laughs> In 1986. That's right. <laughs> Get all those digits mixed up. Over the middle, it is complete to, do, uh, to Clayton. Clayton going, going, going. Clayton showing the speed once again. Second time this afternoon. He's threaded the defense of the Chargers. And I'll tell you, once he gets his hand on the football, he's as fast as Mark Duper or anybody else. Looks like he beat Wyatt again. He's been beating Wyatt all afternoon. Number 30, Kevin Wyatt for the Chargers. We said earlier he was a draft choice of the Dolphins. And he must be happy to see him lining up over there. Well, he put on the afterburner, didn't he? Well, he, he has a great deal of ability in a lot of ways. Reno likes Clayton for a number of reasons. One, he has great leaping ability. Two, he's got superior speed. Add them all together, and you have an all-pro wide receiver. Quad Reves. Don Strock holding. The point after is good. Clayton, three catches, 111 yards. He has both touchdowns. 23-14, Chargers lead. America, this is the big one from General Motors. The big one with 2.9 annual percentage rate GMAC financing. That's 2.9 on all new 1986 GM cars and most light duty trucks. Like the finance contract is limited or choose rebates up to $1,500 depending on maker model. We're out to move over 1 million vehicles. Act now. The big one from General Motors ends October 8th. This is the one you've been waiting for. Hey, Pete. Going to town with us? Ah, go on ahead. Thought you had a little trouble. Ah, we can take care of it. A day off is something real special. But so's a good neighbor. Going into town with us, Pete? Bush. Head for the beer brewed natural as a mountain stream. For a taste as smooth as its name. Bush. Head for Bush beer. Head for the mountains. To you know. Merrill Lynch is there with the help you need to make the most of them. Because at Merrill Lynch, we believe your world should know no boundaries. To know no boundaries. Giving your best effort every time is the mark of a true champion. Don't let anything stop you from becoming the best that you can be. Say no to drugs and yes to a whole lot more. Here's a scoring play once again. Three-step drop, quick pattern. It's the same one the Dolphins have used all afternoon. It's only designed to go about four or five plays, Jay, but Clayton takes it, turns into a 49-yard touchdown. And already, three catches, 111 yards, more than most receivers do in an entire afternoon. Well, he's a very special receiver. Set to put it in play, Quad Reves. Quad has had some thigh muscle problems during the preseason. Lionel James, 26, Buford McGee, 21, set to receive. San Diego has won six of seven opening games under Don Coriel. And James going to down it. San Diego will start from the 20-yard line with 2.12 left in the first half. Fouts trots back onto the turf here. Fouts and Marino both have had their share of leg problems. Of course, this is Fouts' 14th season, and this is Marino's fourth. 
it usually takes, they say, about five years for a quarterback to develop in the NFL. Marino's done it just in his fourth season. He's far beyond any timetable anyone could set for an NFL quarterback. Yeah, he, he didn't really develop. It was that instant print with him. <laughs> Lionel Little Train James. They try to run. He got maybe a yard on the play. Jerome Foster, 78, the nose man, making the play. Two-minute warning here at Jack Murphy Stadium. First half, 23-14, Chargers. Feel the power, feel the heat. And kick of energy from good whole wheat. Name is Wheaties, not too sweet. Big bad hit of good whole wheat. Gentlemen, start your engines. This year, as in years past, the United States Auto Club conducted a nationwide study to determine which leading car rental company has the best conditioned cars. Hundreds of cars were tested. Over 36,000 individual items were inspected, from brakes to ashtrays. And for the fourth time, National Car Rental beat Hertz, Avis, and Budget, hands down. National Car Rental, number one in car condition. Sometimes a simple river crossing isn't so simple. And when you've got him back, it's your turn. Push. Head for the beer brewed natural as a mountain stream. For a taste as smooth as its name. Push. Head for the beer. Head for the mountain. institution here in San Diego. Only coach ever to win a hundred or more games in college football and in professional football. And across from him, a man who's certainly an institution in the National Football League, Don Shula. Influenced much by Paul Brown, who is 79 years old today. Second down and nine. Bounce straight back. In trouble. Throws. And what a catch by Anderson. Anderson just cleared. Bud Brown in time to make that catch. And Bounce waited till the last possible instant to let it go. Well, now Anderson, number 40, he's got another year under his belt here in the offense. He understands it more. And I think Bounce has more confidence in Anderson. That's why you're going to see him touch the ball many times this afternoon. Bounce is now 12 out of 19. Make that 13 out of 20. Wes Chandler took it in. Was belted hard at midfield by Overdahl, number 56. Chandler getting up slowly as the timeout is called by San Diego. 126 left to play. First half. Dodge salutes those who strive for victory with this edition of The Winners. He's a complete football player. He can do it all. He's the best linebacker in the National Football League, and I don't think there's any question about it. In Chicago, the glue that holds the Bears' defense together is linebacker Mike Singletary. In 1985, he saved his best for the playoffs as the Bears topped two straight shutouts with a Super Bowl win. Mike Singletary makes the Chicago Bears winners. In the beginning of recorded history, man had an idea called a caravan. Slow and plodding, like flicks time. Some years later, man had a better idea. Dodge Caravan. Efficient, versatile, and perfect for its time. With front wheel drive and a 550 protection plan, which is why Dodge Caravan has no equal in the civilized world. Dodge setting new standards of performance. With Jimmy Cephalo, Jay Randolph at San Diego Jack Murphy Stadium. Opening day of this 86 season and the Chargers leading 24 or 23 to 14. James and Anderson in the backfield. Dylan Winslow, the tight end number 80. Chandler 89 and Joyner 18, the wide receivers. This might be the wildest series of the 80s. 
for that matter, the entire NFL over the years, Jimmy. They played four times, these two teams, in this decade. Three of the games have gone into overtime. Those were all won by San Diego. And the last time played here, 1984, broke the 11-0 record of the Miami Dolphins, the Chargers did. Raiders up on top, 1-2 to 14 over Denver. And the Jets leading Buffalo there. New England 10 to 3 over Indianapolis in the second period. Over the middle, and the catch made by Kellen Winslow. Winslow has a first down, but Brown and Paul Langford, the two safeties, 43 and 44, converge to make the play. No huddle. Bouts yells out the call. Lionel James set out on the wing right. Bouts looks to James, comes back the other way, incomplete at the 26-yard line, intended for Wes Chandler. And the man that had the coverage out there, Judson, had fallen down. And Bouts gets up out of the dirt here. Uh, Hugh Green put the uh, Dolphin emblem on his chest. He'll probably be there until next Thursday. Joiners caught two for 27. Johnson one for 20. Chandler three for 46. Anderson three for 36 and a touchdown. Hollahan two for 47 and James two for 10. Bouts is a popular quarterback today. He's spraying the ball yes, around. Yes, sir. He's given everybody a little action. Going wide to the right is Chandler, 89. Second down and 10, a minute to play. First half, Chargers 23 to 14. Joiner in motion. Bounce over the middle to Winslow. Winslow all the way down to the 23-yard line. That is vintage Kellen Winslow there. Bud Brown, 43, making the stop. Timeout called, and that will leave the Chargers with one timeout remaining. These Chargers won divisional titles in 79 and 80 and 81. They're kind of the Blue Angels of professional football. They're the Blue Angels of the Air Coriel because they can throw the football up in the air. I'll tell you, they started this drive with two minutes and 12 seconds to go. And right now, we've got, uh, let's see, 50-some seconds left? 53 seconds left to go. And it just seems like it went so quickly. He has the ability, Fouts does, to move the ball downfield, utilize some timeouts a couple of times. People got out of bounds for him. But he is a general on the field. Moves the ball very quickly. Fouts holds 34 club records. Don Shula, the best winning percentage among the active coaches in the National Football League. Six Super Bowl teams, two World Championship teams. Fouts now for Don Coriel, 214 yards, 15 of 23 and a touchdown. Don David Coriel, born in Seattle, his ninth year with the Chargers, might retire, loves to work with people. Certainly one of the top coaches of all time in professional football. A very sincere and wonderful man. Quite misunderstood sometimes by folks. Well, that's why the players respect him so much. He cares about the players and about the game. A very popular man with the Chargers. First and 10 at the 23-yard line. Bounce can't get it away. It was Hugh Green. Green, who won the Lombardi Trophy his senior year at Pittsburgh. Came over from Tampa Bay in the big deal and has just continued to improve and improve as a fine man on defense for the Dolphins. Well, he goes right over the top of uh, Lionel James. Watch him, number 55. Looks like WrestleMania out there. And, but this time, it's number 55 who makes the play. Bounce trying to throw again. And the Dolphins led that time by Doug Betters coming in to break up the play. 39 seconds remaining in the first half. Chargers leading 23 to 14. And this is going to bring up third down, 17. Bounce would like to get the touchdown, of course, but he'd like to also have an opportunity for Benershka on third down situations. San Diego's four out of seven here in the first half. Over the middle. That is Wes Chandler, and he gets out of bounds at the 19-yard line. The nine-year veteran knew exactly what to do with that football. Lankford chased him out. 31 seconds left to go, and here comes the field goal kicking unit on. Chandler knew he was going to get out of bounds to save the clock just in case they needed it. They do have one more timeout remaining. And in that situation, with the timeout left, maybe Chandler should have been stayed in bounds get tackled, let that clock run down, take the timeout, kick the field goal, and not give the Dolphins an opportunity to come back because with Marino, they have the ability to do it. 
Manershka will be kicking off the dirt slickened infield here. He's just coming off a blocked extra point. As we mentioned, Benerski did not have a good preseason. 36-yarder, it's good. Ralph Benerska. Benerska missed the final 15 games in 85 because of a groin injury. Holds 15 club records, has a degree in zoology, and you know, something that maybe doesn't get much play is his kicks for critters. He's raised over $900,000 in the San Diego community, working for help for the endangered species animals of the world. And uh, his dad, of course, is a very brilliant gentleman and works here at the San Diego Zoo, world famous. Manershka trying to battle back from terrible disorders in his stomach. He nearly died a few years ago and raises quite a bit of money for the Iliadis and Colitis Foundation as well. He's a fine young man who's well known in the community because of the charity work that he does. Somebody who actually puts a great deal back into the community where he earns a living as many football players do today. 26 to 14, the Chargers. 28 seconds left, first half. Dolphins have three timeouts remaining. Manershka puts it in play, the low kick, bobble, that's Hardy, the tight end, getting it back to the 33-yard line, and 22 seconds left on the clock. That's time to do a little damage. It certainly is, with three, three timeouts, they're not going to run the football here, they're going to go for it, especially down 26 to 14. They've got a lot of time to throw the football in the air. the 33-yard line. The Chargers going into their prevent defense. They've got Kevin Wyatt back in there again along with a rookie Donald Brown. Marino, best record during his first three years of any quarterback in the National Football League's history. He's operating out of that shotgun. He's trying to get uh, Nathan placed where he wants him back there. Hands it off to Nathan, breaks it up over the 40 and to the 47-yard line in the first down. A little handoff out of the shotgun. Davis 20 and Billy Ray Smith 54 on the tackle and timeout with 16 seconds left. And Marino changed that play at the line of scrimmage. He saw a gap in the Charger defensive front seven and was trying to make up his mind whether he wanted to give it to Nathan on the left or the right. He made the right choice that time. Cap the scoring for you. We've had lots of it. Anderson from Fouts. 209 played in the first. Then Benershka kicked the 26-yard field goal. Spencer scored from 17 out to make it 17 to nothing. Mentioned a few years ago in that game, you'll remember uh, San Diego was out to a 24 to nothing lead, I believe. All right. Or, or, it's been called yeah. the uh, most exciting game yeah. uh, ever in uh, the National Football League. 24 to nothing in the first half. The Dolphins came back, tied it up. And of course, Ralph Renershka won it for San Diego in overtime, 41 to 38. Miami got on the board here with Clayton going 23 yards on a Marino pass and a drive that covered 77 yards in seven plays. Bay's kicking the point, 324 left. That made it 17 to 7. McGee, he scored from four yards out. Renershka's extra point block, 23 to 7. Clayton from Marino to make it 23 to 14, and then Benershka's 36-yard field goal, and we're at 26-14 right now, first and 10 at the 47. And here's Marino, and oh, it's dropped by number 82, James Pruitt. We talked about Pruitt and his fine play in preseason, and Don Shula looks out and says, boy, oh boy, what was that? Why didn't we catch it? Why didn't we make it happen? Pruitt, the rookie's having a bad weekend, Jay. He missed the play yesterday. He misses his first big catch opportunity. Moreno looks back, gives him a little bit of a glare. Moreno's having a good week. He's having a great week. New $9 million contract. And highest paid player in the history of the National Football League. And a big new baby. That's right, to spend that $9 million on it. Second and 10 at the 47. Marino again out of the shotgun. Ten seconds left. First half. Marino hit 
as he was trying to throw the football. And the clock shows two seconds left. Billy Ray Smith knocked it loose. Lee Williams picked it up. And they say that his arm was not in motion. I tell you, Smith and Williams have been a handful here in the first half for these fired up chargers on defense. Well, Ron Lynn, the defensive coordinator for the Chargers, said there are going to be a couple of things differently this year. They're going to do things differently. They're going to be more aggressive, and they're going to be quicker. And that's what happens here. Billy Ray Smith has been causing trouble all day long. He's chasing Marino from the backside. It's tough when you're a quarterback and you get chased out of the pocket because all bets are off at that point. You see Billy Smith uh, from the backside knocking the ball away from Marino. All bets are off in the sense that your receivers break their pattern. They're going to run to the sideline, try to give you some help, but he had nowhere to go with the football. Billy Ray stripped it from him. Bounce with two seconds left. Airs it out downfield. Here we go. Incomplete. Two Chargers among about six Dolphins. Shula looks up at the scoreboard. We're at halftime. 26-14 Chargers. This vignette is brought to you by the U.S. Army. No words could repair this running back shattered knee. Please don't give me your words of wisdom or your advice about what I should do, what I shouldn't do. The achievers, those who face adversity and refuse to fail, brought to you by the U.S. Army. When Kurt Warner's knee exploded, many thought he was through. But months of agonizing therapy has Kurt Warner back in all pro form. It's not going to be easy. There are going to be days when you're not going to feel like doing it. There are going to be days when you don't want to do it. But I decided to work. I think that's the most important thing. Hey, that was a great answer. Where'd you learn about computers? In the Army. Uh, you were in the Army? Yeah. And now they're helping pay your way through college. How come you know so much? How do you think I got here? Qualify for the GI Bill and the Army College Fund and earn $17,000 for college for only a two-year enlistment or $25,200 for a four-year enlistment. What you doing here? Airborne. You were airborne? Find your future in the Army. You used to jump out of airplanes? You're looking at the fastest-selling European import in its introductory year. You're looking at a car with performance features like front-wheel drive and rack and pinion steering. You're looking at a car that's comfortable and fun to drive. You're looking at a car that costs $39.90. You're looking at a Yugo. For a closer look, call 1-800-USA-YUGO for the dealer nearest you. Yugo, $39.90. Back here in San Diego, Jimmy Cephalo and Jay Randolph, San Diego leading, and we'll be back after these messages from your local station. Ricardo and Bully were getting on each other's nerves. The big shot won't listen to anybody. He knows who the unknown soldier is. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, tell her. But now that they moved to Beverly Hills, things will be looking up. We're having fun now. Easy Street follows the Golden Girls. Uh -huh. Yesterday we argued over soda crackers. Today we got a state problem. Premiering September 13th. If you thought convenience was the only reason to open a personal checking account at B of A, think again. The new reason is service. Our checking service is now so good that if you're not satisfied, we'll refund up to six months regular service charges. No other California bank has a money-back guarantee like this. So if you want service so good it's guaranteed, check out B of A. We want the job. Bank of America, we want the job. When you want parts for your car, don't settle for good enough. Make max for the max crank it. Get power to spare. Our new Megazord batteries now start at a low $25.95. Plus, flag motor oil is now only 69 cents a quart. Automatic transmission flu is just 89 cents a quart. And don't forget a new flag oil filter, now just $1.88. For max selection, protection, and savings, you know where to go. Crank it auto parts. Hi, I'm Al Check. Join us for Sports Rep after football. This is a special NFL edition of News Center 39. Good afternoon. I'm Kathy Clark, live in the News Center. The Soviets now say they will charge American reporter Nicholas Daniloff with espionage. That is despite a personal plea for the man's release from President Reagan to Soviet leader Gorbachev. 
Officials say they don't know when Daniloff will be brought to trial. He was arrested, of course, last week after being given a package by a Soviet acquaintance that the Soviets say contained classified material. American officials maintain Daniloff was framed, and the White House says the spy charges could have serious implications on superpower relations. The injured Americans from Pan American Flight 73 have now been taken to West Germany for medical treatment. NBC News correspondent Paul Miller has a report. Six American passengers from Pan Am Flight 73 finally got to Frankfurt early this morning on stretchers. They and several Europeans, all seriously wounded but able to travel, were carefully taken off a C-141 medevac jet. There were no families to meet these American hostages, but the American ambassador to West Germany saw them briefly. They are very pleased to be in Frankfurt. They are very happy with the medical care they are receiving. Four Americans were taken by ambulance to the Air Force Hospital in Wiesbaden. Two others were helicoptered to another military hospital. Wiesbaden has handled many other American hostages who needed help and comfort, but this case is different. These patients are suffering from gunshot and shrapnel wounds. They have suffered a combination of missile injuries from bullets and shrapnel, as well as injuries incurred while rapidly exiting the aircraft. While several of the injuries are quite serious, all six Americans returning on the AirVac aircraft are in stable condition. The most seriously wounded patient has a bullet wound in the head. Uh, Names of the six won't be released until their families are told of their conditions. Doctors said they were surprised there weren't more patients in need of evacuation to Germany. Medical data, like other information coming from Karachi, was confusing and incomplete. A special Pan Am flight will bring more than 200 survivors of the hijacking to Frankfurt. They too will be offered medical assistance, but many Americans on board the plane have already said they just want to keep going home to the United States. Paul Miller, NBC News, Frankfurt. And that plane already has arrived in Frankfurt, West Germany, and it was carrying more than 200 of the passengers who survived the hijacking. The Americans on that flight reportedly will be questioned by the FBI during their stopover. There is no word yet on whether the surviving members of a San Diego family involved in the hijacking is on board that plane. Police in Turkey now say 21 people died in the attack on a synagogue yesterday. Two Arabs entered the building in Istanbul and began shooting, then killed themselves with hand grenades. The attack on the temple has caused upheaval among the Israeli cabinet. Prime Minister Shimon Peres cut off a meeting with that cabinet amid accusations his peace policy invited the attack. Peres says he will not reconvene the meeting unless the accusations are withdrawn. Firefighters here in San Diego now say that fire in North City West yesterday may have burned as many as 200 acres. The spectacular wildfire raged out of control along Interstate 5 for more than two hours yesterday. No homes were damaged. Private property was spared. But the crews were back there this morning after nearby residents said they saw flare-ups. Earlier this morning, there was uh, a report of some open fire burning near the construction area. So we came over you know, first thing this morning to check it out, and there's nothing of any significance. Meanwhile, investigators are still trying to find the driver of a water truck who may have ignited the fire. Witnesses reported that a tailpipe of a silver or gray construction truck was spewing those sparks. What to do, what does a Hershey bar and a lottery ticket have in common? Well, if you're talking about the California lottery, the two companies are about the same size. Lottery officials say that in two years, the budget for the game will reach more than $2 billion. According to Fortune 500, that is almost as big as the Hershey Company. And if you happen to be one of the lucky people who win, just think of all the candy bars you could buy. We'll have more news right after this. The beauty of patience is its gentle persistence, but the power of patience is anything but passive. For proof, we introduce the new generation of Mitsubishi pickups. This new Mitsubishi is more than just a new truck. Patient crafting has combined a vigorous new shape with the available power of the largest inline four-cylinder built, which proves that even patience likes to kick up a little dust. Mitsubishi. 
To just about no one's surprise, Martina Navratilova has won the Women's Singles Tennis Championship again at the U.S. Open. Al Keck, of course, will have a complete wrap-up of the day in sports coming up after the Charger game. you want to stay tuned for sports wrap right after the game. And then Carlos Amezcua and I will be back at 5 o'clock for that edition of News Center 39. Mor Mayor Maureen O'Connor is taking some local concerns to Washington this week. We will tell you about her latest trip. And police in Encinitas are going to extraordinary lengths to enforce the new dog leash law. They're actually putting people in jail. And, of course, the Charger fans are ecstatic with today's game so far. John Britton will tell us all about the tailgating out there. Join us for that and a lot more at 5 o'clock. But now let us go back to NBC Sports coverage and, of course, the rest of the Charger game. a television show that reaches deep down inside to your heart. It's called Crime Story. Almost 16, have to room with a child? Kleenex chest. Starring Wilfred Brimley and Deidre Hall. Three generations living and growing together. Our House. Come home to Our House, Sundays at 7 on 39 Alive. Janice with Weekend Sports at 5 and 11. Twenty-one L.A. at halftime. It was 19-7 L.A. at one point. Then the Broncos rallied, including this bit of razzle-dazzle. Steve Sewell to John Elway, the quarterback, for a 23-yard TD. The Broncos are within one at halftime. In the game, many of you are watching. The Jets lead Buffalo 14-10. And here's the difference in the game with the score tied at 7-7. Ken O'Brien will go deep to Al Toon, the second-year wide receiver. And the 46-yard touchdown gives them a 14-7 lead. Eventually, a Scott Norwood field goal narrows that to 14 to 10, which is where they stand now. San Diego and Miami, they've reached halftime at San Diego. The Chargers led 17-0 at one point in that game. Marino is thrown for two. Fouts is thrown for two, including this one in the first quarter. Watch the move by Gary Anderson. Unbelievable. Up and over. One of the most spectacular plays of the day. It's 26-14 San Diego at the half over the Dolphins. Also halftime at Foxborough. The Patriots lead the Colts 10-3. They go to the third at Arrowhead. Kansas City and Cincinnati tied at 7. Halftime at the Kingdome, Seattle with a 6-0 lead over Pittsburgh. Earlier today, Chicago held off the Cleveland Browns 41-31. Walter Payton had 113 yards and a couple of touchdowns. And we saw the first ever regular season use of the instant replay rule. The officials are checking with the replay guy upstairs. Why? Because the Jay Hilgenberg snap on the third play from scrimmage in the game eluded Jim McMahon. The ball eventually squirts to the back of the end zone. Al Gross of Cleveland recovers, and the replay official confirms that, yes, he had possession before he went out of the end zone. It stands up for a Cleveland touchdown, but the Bears go on to win it, 41-31. Buddy Ryan is gone from Chicago. He's the head coach in Philadelphia, and today the Eagles allowed the most points they have ever allowed in a game since 1975, clobbered by Washington, 41-14, two TDs for Redskin newcomer Kelvin Bryant. The Rams, with Eric Dickerson rushing for 193, beat the Cardinals 16-10. Time ran out on St. Louis with the ball at the one-yard line. They were unable to get off another play. They had no timeouts left. Houston wallops Green Bay, 31-3. Warren
Aaron Moon throws for two and runs for another. Detroit over Minnesota, 13 to 10. James Jones, 174 yards on the ground for the Lions. San Francisco intercepts Steve DeBerg seven times. They romp at Tampa Bay, 31 to seven. And Atlanta beats New Orleans, 31-10, spoiling Jim Mora's head coaching debut. William Andrews returns for the Falcons, inauspicious, but he's back, carries five times for 28. Earlier today, Martina Navratilova wins the women's title at the U.S. Open, and Lendl took the first set 6-4 from Machir in the men's final. And we'll be back with more on NFL 86 in a minute. And wide open is Cephalo at the 50, could go all the way, 40, 25, 15, and Miami has a touchdown. Jimmy Cephalo, Super Bowl 17, now doing NBC Sunrise and working football. And we're in San Diego, Charlie Jones' hometown. You'll be working with Charlie for the most part this year. He's away for a couple of weeks doing track and field, but we're happy to have you alongside this season to analyze the play. Well, thank you. It's good to be here. Good to be working with you, Jay, once thank again. You. We had a game together last year, and Charlie will be back from Italy in a couple of weeks, and we'll get together for a while. <laughs> uh, yeah, I look forward, of course, to the second half of this game. One item that we saw in the first half, and you haven't seen it happen too often, because they've been the best team in the last three years in preventing their quarterback from being sacked. Miami did let Marino go down a couple of times in this game. Well, they've had a lot of problems with their offensive line thus far, and Coach Don Shula has tried to put a patchwork line together. They've had so many injuries, though. Geisler and Taze and Newman and Steve Clark and Dennard, all of these people uh, they expected to be performing for them here in the opener, but they do not have them as uh, they take on the San Diego Chargers. So uh, it's been a, an offseason thus far that the Dolphins have had to put together an offensive line that they're not completely comfortable right now, and Dan Marino showed some concern about that coming into today's game. And Don Shula, a year ago, had a tremendous amount of turmoil in preseason with so many people that didn't sign. Doug Benners finally came back home this past week. It is in, but really, uh, there was not near the turmoil that he had uh, in preseason this year. Right. And of course, uh, he took his team into the playoffs one more time a year ago. He always seems to do it. He has eight different starters today than he did opening day a year ago. And that, of course, is because of all the holdouts a year ago. Bob Brzezinski was not there and a number of other players. And it caused some discontent among the Dolphins. They went out and were beaten in their home in their opener, wasn't their home opener, excuse me, against the Oilers last year. Don Shula does not have a good record as far as opening days are concerned, oddly enough. No, and Don Coriel does. Over the years, Coriel's teams, that man right there, he's 10 and 2 on opening day. We're just about set to go to the second half here. 26 to 14, the Chargers, and they're some of this big crowd taking a look. And Jimmy, there are the stats. Uh, well, on, uh, Chargers really dominate. Yeah, they are. 337 total yards already in just one half of play, Jay. That's that's a remarkable statistic, and the Dolphins have to be concerned that their defense is not doing the job. They, we mentioned earlier eight people different last year than today, but those young people are not doing the job. That is Lorenzo Hampton downing the ball, and it will come out to the 20-yard line. Let's go back to the first touchdown of the game. Fouts throwing, Anderson catching, and then Anderson launching himself into the end zone. This is how you can tell you have a special person playing for you. There aren't very many people who will do that, regardless if they have the ability or not. Number 40, Gary Anderson, shows he wants to be a football player in San Diego here, and he will be a good football player for a very long time. First down, Dolphins. Danny Marino going to put it up right off the bat. And it is complete to the far sideline. That's Mark Duper with the first down. Fred Robinson, the right outside linebacker, had the coverage. Duper, who played at Northwest Louisiana State. Early season injuries last year. And there's the quickest 100 touchdowns. And you see, this is Marino's 44th game today. Unitas, it took him 53 to throw 100. Marino on target. By the end of their careers, it's very possible that the two quarterbacks on the field today may hold virtually every passing record in the NFL. Nat Moore going in motion. A handoff goes to Ron Davenport. 
Boy, Davenport can't do any business. Leslie O'Neill, the rookie from Oklahoma State. He did an excellent job. O'Neill, 6'4", 255 pounds. He had three sacks in the last preseason game they uh, against St. Louis. And here. that's why he was drafted by the Chargers. They wanted that quick upfield kind of guy, get to the quarterback. But he showed them that he can play the run very well, and he did it on that play, stopping Ron Davenport. Second down and 10. I should say Marino and lots of time. That time trying to get it to Nat Moore. And Moore at the 45 yard line covered by Jeffrey Dale, number 37, a second year man at strong safety. Dale played at LSU. He started at free safety in 85, was on the all rookie team. He's a real hitter, this fella. He and Bird, uh, number 22 for the Chargers, switched positions this year. They were playing free safety and strong safety. Now they've swapped spots for this season. And their secondary has done a very good job this morning. Duper and Moore, Clayton and Pruitt, all in there now on third and ten for Miami. Out of the shotgun. Marino, incomplete at midfield. Trying to go to Nat Moore. Billy Ray Smith, the linebacker, 54, had the coverage. He'll come on. Well, the Raiders lead is only one at halftime. The Jets are up by four in the third period. San Diego leading here 26 to 14. New England over Indianapolis. Cincinnati and Kansas City tied in the third. And Seattle still up six to nothing in the third period against Pittsburgh. Reggie Roby to do the punting and Lionel James back to receive. This is a low spiral. Should be a chance for a return. James is dumped as he got to the 29-yard line. Looked for a moment like he might get more out of it. Shula coming downfield is really on the line, Judge, about something. Number 90, Andy Hendel, the linebacker, making the play. 26-14 Chargers. Timeout here in the third quarter. Have you driven a Ford? No. Get 2.9% financing or cash back on the purchase of most new Ford cars and trucks. Up to $600 cash back on Ford Ranger. $1,000 cash back on Thunderbird Turbo Coupe. And up to $600 on Tempos. 2.9% or cash back on other Ford cars and trucks, too. That's 2.9% financing or cash back. See your Ford dealer today. Welcome to the Silver Bullet, home of a cold Coors Light. Rob, do you work out? Yeah, I belong to a club. Here's your Coors Light. Yeah, I'm thinking about joining a club, but can't seem to find a good enough reason. I mean, is a flat stomach a good enough reason? Nope. Building up my endurance? Nope. Big muscles? No. See the club, Rob? Yeah. <laughs> oh! What's the name of that club? No slowing down Rob? with the Silver Rob. Bullet tonight. This is it. The moment they find out if their cars got what it takes. They've done everything they could. Which is why two out of three Indy 500 drivers rely on STP oil treatment. Because when it comes right down to it, STP adds extra lubrication to reduce engine wear in whatever you drive. STP is the racer's edge. Today's game is brought to you by Ford and your local Ford dealer. Have you driven a Ford lately? By Stroh's and Stroh Light. Now you're talking good times and Stroh's is spoken here. And by IBM and the growing family of IBM personal computers. First down for the Chargers from their own 29-yard line, Buford McGee. Getting a couple as he... Fought his way across the 30-yard line. George Little, number 99. John Oberdahl, 56, on the stop. Don Trill is working the sideline, that's for certain. He had a little bit of a conversation with an official a few minutes ago. Probably went something like this. But, Mr. Official, don't you believe that my man was pulled down from behind? I don't think it's something that we would rate uh, G in the rating system of our theaters across the country. 
Second down and six at the 33-yard line. Joiner coming in motion. Bounce, a lot of time, throws, and complete. That's Wes Chandler. Chandler making the catch, going out of bounds at the 46. Don McNeil, 28th quarter man there with him. Frustrated Don Shula at the moment, but he's been behind before. He's a patient man and one of the most knowledgeable ever to coach. These Chargers are some kind of offensive power. Ernie Zampezi, the offensive coordinator, calls the signals for this really breathtaking offense. It is breathtaking. Sometimes they just do things that no one has ever attempted before, but they've got the personnel to make it work. This is Anderson coming to the near side. The give goes to the little train. And he's across midfield. Tough little man he is. But Brown 43 and Paul Ankford 44 making the stop. James and uh, number 40, Gary Anderson, are the same type of players. They both have that ability to run tough inside, to catch the football downfield. And this season, James and Anderson are going to be used uh, in that same kind of a capacity. And they, I would imagine James's production is going to drop a little bit because Anderson is a year older, he's got the offense down, and he's the player they want to go to. At least they showed that today. James with 18 yards now, and this is Spencer. Spencer looks like he's got the first down as there's some shoving and pushing going on. Jackie Ship, 50. Bob Baumhauer, 73. Hugh Green, 55. Our referee, Dick Jorgensen, says first down. We have 12.44 to play in the third quarter. Chargers lead it 26 to 14. Winning as active coach in the National Football League, Don Shula. 17th season now at Miami. The Dolphins will be playing in their new Dolphins Stadium next year. There's Don Coriel. He might be retired for this time next year. He's got high hopes right now. Out to Anderson. Anderson bumped down by Jackie Ship, former number one draft pick. Stop made at the 37-yard line. You mentioned earlier that uh, Gary Anderson reminds you of Gail Sayers in a little way. He does have that slashing ability, and he's not afraid to leap over someone on the goal line, as we saw earlier. You're absolutely right. Now that you say it, he does remind me of Sayers as well. 42 yards, four carries. Don Coriel, his ninth year with the Chargers, had five years at St. Louis. Former paratrooper in World War II. Faust giving it up the middle to Anderson. Anderson's got a first down. The ball was dead. It came out after he hit the ground at the 31-yard line. Brzezinski there to make the stop. 59 with Langford 44. Another San Diego first down. Straight up, we've got lots of running room. There you see number 50, Jackie Schiff being run over. And who is it but number 43, Mr. Spencer? Don Coriolis calls him the best running back he's ever coached, which is... That's right. I would certainly have to agree that he's a fellow who's really underrated. Spencer played at Ohio State. Great blocker. Bounce gets it out to Anderson. Anderson steps out of bounds at the 24-yard line after he just danced his way past a couple of Dolphins. It was Hugh Green that ran him out. And it was number 45, William Judson, who uh, ran himself into the ground trying to grab a hold of some jersey of Gary Anderson. I tell you, you'd have to go to a disco to see moves like this. Look oh, at this look, action. You can't teach this to anybody. That is something that's born. That's, that's an instinct. And that's, it's beautiful to watch. It certainly is. And this is an offensive show. And San Diego running the ball, too, Jim, we should mention very, very well in this drive. Jermaine Johnson's in the game. They go to Lionel James on the pitch, cuts the corner, and is all the way down to the nine-yard line. Bud Brown and Langford, the two safeties again having to come over and run him out. And once again, it was Tim Spencer that cleaned the entire right side of the Dolphin defense. Watch him in your screen. Number 43, he's leading James around the corner. Watch the block he throws. McNeil goes down. Number 50, Jackie Ship goes down. Gives you Lionel James the time. Give him some time to run and get you some yards. Give Spencer the credit for that. At the nine-yard line, first and goal to go. 
Chargers lead at 26 to 14. 10 17 to play in the third quarter. Spencer, Anderson, and McGee all in the backfield now. And the pitch back comes to Anderson. Anderson down to the seven yard line. And Bob Baumhauer, 73, the nose man, there to make the play. Those of you just joining us, our 10-minute ticker, we'll update those earlier games. Chicago beat Cleveland, Washington over Philadelphia. The Rams get by St. Louis. Houston bangs Green Bay and Detroit over Minnesota by three. San Francisco beat Tampa Bay, Atlanta over New Orleans. Second and goal from the seven. Bounce has trouble handling the ball, but throws over the middle. Touchdown, Wes Chandler. Some quarterbacks might have got flustered because of the problem on the exchange. Bounce, handled it, waited. Finds Chandler, seven-yard touchdown. Sid Gilman once called Dan Bounce the Michelangelo of quarterbacks. And he paints a picture here. Look at this. You're absolutely right, Jay. Some quarterbacks should get flustered by it. He's got all the time in the world. Takes his time. Finds Wes Chandler for the score. What a remarkable quarterback. Wes Chandler beating Langford on the play. Benershka had one blocked earlier. Puts this one through. 9.22 left in the third quarter. Chargers have 33, the Dolphins 14. Back with more in a moment. Have you driven a Ford? Now, get 2.9% financing or cash back on the purchase of most new Ford cars and trucks. Up to $600 cash back on Ford Ranger, $1,000 cash back on Thunderbird Turbo Coupe, and up to $600 on Tempos. 2.9% or cash back on other Ford cars and trucks, too. That's 2.9% financing or cash back. See your Ford dealer today. Buy some shine, catch your line, catch the limit here. Now you're talking fishing. Now you're talking beer. Now you're talking good times. And Stroh's is smoking here. Stroh's. Fire brewed for smooth, consistent taste. Now you're talking Stroh's. Now you're talking beer. Now you're talking good times. And Stroh's is smoking here. Time to go, boys. You've been in there long enough. Hey, we're not even tired. I feel good. Oh, I've checked the mileage, Andy. Hey, we're the order line. We're guaranteed. Guaranteed. I feel good. Yeah, two years, no matter how far we go. But no spark plug guarantees that. We do. Yeah, we're the auto line. But I... So go pull the plug on somebody else. Okay. I feel good. An American tradition continues. In 1978, it was dubbed the modern-day shot heard round the world. Bucky Dent's three-run homer helped clinch one of baseball's greatest comeback seasons. Next Saturday, the intense rivalry continues as the Yankees host the Red Sox or the Reds meet the Dodgers. The tradition is here. The memories are waiting. Further look from the ticker, the Raiders leading. As you saw those other scores, and we'll go back to that as we have the kickoff coming to Carter. Carter's out over the 10, the 15 in the middle at the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Leading the way, 55, Gary Nelson, linebacker. Nelson shaking up just a little bit. The rest of these scores, Jets leading by four. And San Diego leading 33 to 14 here. New England 17 to 3 over Indianapolis now. Kansas City up by 7 over Cincinnati and Seattle leading Pittsburgh. Dan Fouts has done the job. Marino will try to rally the Dolphins. Out it comes to the tight end, Hardy. Hardy out of bounds at the 28 yard line. Jeffrey Dale, 37 on the play. Just shoving over there. 
Jimmy, the problem right now for the Dolphins, they have nine minutes left to play in the third quarter. They're down 33 to 14. They can't fool around running the football very much, and San Diego knows that. No, they've got to forget the running game completely, and because of that, the Chargers are coming with five defensive backs. Probably on second down, they'll go to six defensive backs, and that makes it more difficult for Marino to pick holes in the defense. Second down and about three at the 28. A little draw play, and a first down for Lorenzo Hampton. Hampton, who played at Florida. Stop is made by Kevin Wyatt, number 30. Danny Walters, 23. Clock running with eight minutes and 45 seconds remaining to be played in the third quarter. Chandler caught that last touchdown pass. He is six catches on the afternoon for 77 yards. As we look in at Lorenzo Hampton. Over the middle to the tight end again, Bruce Hardy, and he is up to the 42-yard line. Using the tight end a good deal this afternoon, Thomas Benson, 57, the right inside linebacker on the stop. Benson, out of Oklahoma, came over here in a trade with Atlanta for a number six during training camp. He was originally in Atlanta number two. They've been pleased with him. Yeah, the knock on Benson out of Atlanta was that he was not picking up the defense very well there, but he's stepped in and started right away for the Chargers. They're very happy. Second and five. And the pass complete this time to Johnson, the other tight end who had replaced Hardy. Jeffrey Dale runs him out of bounds. It's first down, and Don Shula having Marino go to these tight ends with some regularity here in the third quarter. And for good reason. If you try to attack the Miami Dolphin offense, you're going to say, well, we'll double the wide receivers. We'll double Tony Nathan out of the backfield. The tight end position is the one that will have man-to-man -man most of the time. The Dolphins are trying to take advantage of that by going to Hardy, who is a good receiver, and on that occasion to Dan Johnson. Dan Johnson, excuse Dan me. Johnson. I want to put him on Miami Vice. Don't <laughs> Johnson injured much of last season. First down at the 44. That's Hampton. Not much there. Hampton bumped out of bounds near the 42 by Jeffrey Dale, 37, and Billy Ray Smith, 54. Billy Ray Smith has been moved from the inside linebacker position he played a year ago to the outside, and he's played it very well. On that occasion, his job is to simply make sure the running back does not get around the corner, and he prevented Hampton from doing so. He was the highest defensive pick in San Diego history when they took him number one. Duper Moore and Clayton are all in there, second and seven at the 41-yard line. And Marino from the shotgun may have audibleized again. throws complete that's Nat Moore the veteran is at the 25 and down to the 23 yard line Billy Ray Smith number 54 on the stop Kevin Wyatt number 30 he kind of beat Wyatt on the play a little bit of pushing between number 53 Douglas and number 13 Dan Marino of all people usually quarterbacks don't get involved in that kind of stuff not a good idea. Not a good idea. Douglas is a big man. Although Dan Marino is no slouch and he's a tough competitor. He's not going to get pushed around by many people. Penalty on this play. Marino now having a discussion with Dick Jorgensen. And it's going to go against Miami. That's the second time that Cook's been called for that. Again, the Chargers were in a blitzing type of a defense. Cook, is, although he's a veteran, he panicked a little bit, moved just a second early. Cook had some conflicts with one of the assistant coaches, Jerry Wampler of the Packers. A fixture at right tackle for Green Bay, but he came over and is now a Dolphin. Second down and 11 at the 46-yard line. Marino rolls out, looks back, throws too high. Pass intended for James Pruitt. That's a 
design play the Dolphins put in. They want to get away from the pressure. They have noticed the Chargers are blitzing very much from the inside, and so they simply roll Marine out to the outside and try to get him away from all that pressure. Look in the middle of your screen. You see six or seven people all going after the quarterback right in the middle there. Marino goes to the other side, and he's got 82 Pruitt wide open, but overthrows him. Third down situations on the day. The Dolphins have converted one of four. Ten minute ticker updating you again. Seattle now leading Pittsburgh 13 to nothing. Third and 11. Marino's got his man and a first down. On the move, Mark Clayton. Clayton all the way down to the 26 yard line. Gil Bird, 22, ran him out. Ron Lynn, the defensive coordinator of the Chargers, he likes that aggressive type play, but I really don't understand it here, Jay. They're up by 19 points at this juncture in the game. They got a third down situation. You would imagine that with the personnel they have, they could simply zone the field and try to keep whatever receiver's catching the ball away from those first down markers, but they gambled, did not get to Marino. Allowed Clayton to get the first down. Miami driving, trying to battle back in this one. Marino again calling an audible at the line of scrimmage. Looking and incomplete. Penalty marker goes down. Davis number 20 against Mark Duper 85. Side judge discussing it there with the field judge and referee Nick Jorgensen stepping in. closer look at it over the top it seems as if it was a good call he did Heard make that. some early contact they will allow the cornerback to go after the football as long as he does not go through the wide receiver and there you see number 20 Davis going through marker Duke Mark Duke for number 85 first and goal to go at the six yard line with 650 left to play in the third quarter Chargers lead at 33 to 14 in the slot to the left side. Bring the tight end back toward the action and throw outside for a touchdown to Nat Moore. Oh, what a beautiful play. Moore set in the slot with the tight end outside of him. He moves back inside and the pass goes back out to Moore for the score. Uh, it's called a pick, Jay. <laughs> it's, not, it's usually not legal, but if you do it right, it is. And this is a touchdown. And Matt Moore is the craftiest uh, wide receiver I've ever seen play the game. Uh, he knows all the tricks. And Dan Marino asked him to perform one here, and he does. Yes. Inside, you see Matt Moore all by himself. But what you don't see in the screen there is Bruce Hardy, who came inside looking for the ball. He just happened to wipe out a couple of defenders. The extra point by Fouad Reves is good. They beat Walters and Bird for the touchdown. 33-21, Chargers. Fire brewing. It's more than a way to make Stroh's and Stroh light. It's a family tradition. Passed down from one generation to another for over 200 years. It's what guarantees that smooth, consistent taste for generations to come. Now you're talking Stroh. A typical day with the station wagon, except one thing's changed. The station wagon. The new Ford Taurus wagon, with the design and performance that make everyday driving more than an everyday experience. Taurus, now there's an American car that has exactly what we've been looking for. Taurus, 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 have you driven a Ford lately? Sometimes it seems as if your air conditioning bills are going through the roof. But the Owens Corning Attic Blanket will help keep the cool air in. Which can save you money in the years ahead and leave you sitting pretty.
Owens Corning. We put your house in the pink. The world's athletes are gathering in Rome. The IAAF Grand Prix Final. If it's special, it's on NBC Sports. That's next Saturday at 1 Eastern and 3 Pacific. Charlie Jones will be over there. Edward Moses, Evelyn Ashford. It'll be a tremendous, tremendous show. And hope you'll join us for that special next Saturday here on NBC. Jay Randolph along with Jimmy Cephalo. Our entire crew headed up this afternoon by Kenneth Roy Edmondson. And this one at 33-21 as the Dolphins have just scored. We have 6.47 left in the third quarter. And it's everything we expected thus far, Jay. Already a lot of points scored, and I've got the feeling that we're going to have another one of those Dolphin Charger barn burners. Fourteenth meeting in one of the best series in the AFC, or for that matter, anywhere you want to go. San Diego leading this series 8-5. to five. And Three of the last four games, as we've told you, have gone into overtime. McGee and James set to receive. You see the scoring drive. Quad Reves, who played at Tennessee. Seventh round draft pick, kicks it off. That is James at the 20. 25, scoots down the line, and is out of bounds. Lost the ball just as he went out. It'll be San Diego's ball near the 35-yard line. Andy Hindell made the tackle. San Diego with 393 total yards. Miami now with 273. Ball is going to be placed at the 34-yard line. And you can look for the charges to try to eat up some clock and get that running game going once again. Pitch back coming to Gary Anderson. Oh, he almost went all the way. He came within a half step. Oh, Shulov taking it all the way. Bud Brown made the tackle, and a good thing he did. There's Terry Unrein. Cartilage damage. We understand they'll do an arthroscope on him tonight. And uh, Unrein, the rookie from Colorado State, who plays a great deal in the 4-3 scheme when the Chargers have that going out of action here. They're not going to waste any time with him, are they? No. Nope. Oh, what a remarkable thing that offer scope is, isn't it? Here's Anderson. And he got a couple. Anderson is one of those players where you have to stay at home. If you try to over-pursue, try to get to the sideline to cut him off, he's going to burn you bad, cutting back against the grain. He's got that slashing type ability that can uh, really turn a defense into into uh, a problem area for you. And for the kind of runner he is, he's very durable. You know, he did not miss a game at Tampa in the USFL. Uh, he's been working a lot as a wide receiver here. I mean, he can do it all. Here, here he goes. Right there, you see it. Second and eight. Send Joyner in motion to the far sideline. Fouts and over the head of the intended receiver, Wes Chandler. Good coverage that time by William Judson. Anderson, 11 carries, 61 yards, five catches, 48 yards, and a touchdown. We talk about all-purpose yardage and the great job Lionel James did. Uh, you're going to put Mr. Anderson in that category, I think, too. Yeah, they're going to put him to work. They may have back-to-back -back folks who will go ahead and break that NFL record for uh, the most total yards in a season. Third and eight. Dolphins in a prevent defense. Bounce in trouble. Steps up, throws outside. Great catch by Anderson. Look at that move. He's got the first down. What a remarkable individual effort. John Oferdahl, 56. Donovan Rose, 26. Finally there, but I mean, I just, is there any way to defense that? No, he's, he's putting out a shuffle today. You know, what can, what can you possibly say or do to stop this? I mean, this is individual effort. Uh, Donovan Rose is still, he still thinks he's in Canada trying to catch somebody. I mean, number 40, Terry Anderson, he is simply, right now, putting on a show that is probably unforeseen, at least in the NFL today. He's very special. Pitch back to the little train. James sneaks, 
fights and gets near the 32-yard line. Doug Betters, number 75, made the play. Betters, who only signed on Tuesday, and he's in there to do some pass rushing, hopefully. Lionel James out of Auburn. Auburn winning yesterday, but without their mascot, War Eagle, for the first time. Proves you can win without a mascot. <laughs> I guess I suppose. <laughs> Second down and two. Hand off to Lionel James. First down. Fumble. Pile up at the 21 yard line. San Diego football. Lyle Blackwood was in to make the tackle and the ball got away. Looked like Spencer might have gotten to it. There's Blackwood. Three running backs for the charges. And number 43, once again, there you see Spencer leading around the corner. You don't have to give little Lionel James much of a crack. Here's the 10 minute ticker updating you. Raiders leading by one, Jets by four. New England 20 to three over Indianapolis now. Kansas City up 14 to seven, Seattle up 14 to nothing. First and 10 at the 20. That's Gary Anderson fighting to the 20-yard line. Offerdahl, number 56, again there making the play. We had a shot, of course, of Blackwood a moment ago, Lyle Blackwood. His brother is on the injured reserve list, and Lyle is backing up at both safety spots. Uh, there have been, as we pointed out early on, some patchwork jobs done in both these secondaries and some changes made. The Dolphins, uh, Lyle Blackwood was released a week ago when they got down to 45. One of the reasons I think they put him out was not because of his ability, but because no. he's the oldest defensive back in the NFL, and they knew he would not be picked up. Cleared waivers. Right. That's Anderson going wide to the right. Pounce over the middle. That's Anderson to the nine-yard line. First down. He's everywhere, folks. He does it all up the middle, around the corner, catches the ball on the sideline or across the middle. Anything you'd like. Bud Brown, 43, Paul Lankford, 44 on the stop. You see, Fouts uh, knew exactly where he wanted to go. It just took a quick three-step drop and dumped it over to Anderson across the middle. First and goal to go at the nine. Chargers lead at 33-21. 1.40 to play, third quarter. to about the six-yard line. Overdahl, 56, makes the tackle. We'll check in now with Bob Costas. Jay, what a wild one at Mile High Stadium. In the third quarter, Marcus Allen, who had scored twice earlier, loses the ball. Denver linebacker Ken Woodard picks it up, scores a 12-yard touchdown. Now it's the Raiders by a single point, and the difference in the game, a Raiders safety in the first half. Boy, that sounds like you really got a good one going there. Here in San Diego, the Chargers try to score again. Spencer, McGee, and James all in the backfield. This is James. James goes to the two. Penalty marker down. Might have been a little holding in there. We'll wait and see. Holding against San Diego. Lankford made the tackle on Lionel James as the little train had a full head of steam and got down to the two, but it'll be nullified and brought back out. Holding, number 80, offense, still second down. Kellen Winslow, the veteran tight end. Well, that's the first holding penalty we've had all day, which is unusual here towards the end of the third quarter with two passing teams. Usually that flag comes out much more often. Is spotted out at the 17-yard line. Don Shula, 12, 10, and 1 on opening day. Coriel, as we mentioned, 10 and 2 on opening day. Romaine Johnson, 83, is in the game. That's Hollahan, the tight end going wide to the right over the middle. It's a touchdown.
beat Bob Rudzinski, a linebacker from the outside. Once again, Jay, just when you think you've got maybe Gary Anderson and maybe Lionel James Hemp in, they come back with Ashley with a Hollahan or a, a Kellen Winslow. This is a tough offense to stop, and they may be the first team in the NFL that does have an offense that isn't in stop. Well, I'll tell you, they are very talented. The whole world knows that. But they seem to be able to run the football better in this game. And that helps their passing, which is so brilliant that, uh, you know, it just is an unbelievable offensive show. 40 to 21, and the Chargers, 21 seconds left. Have you driven a Ford? Now, get 2.9% financing or cash back on the purchase of most new Ford cars and trucks. Up to $600 cash back on Ford Ranger, $1,000 cash back on Thunderbird Turbo Coupe, and up to $600 on Tempos. 2.9% or cash back on other Ford cars and trucks, too. That's 2.9% financing or cash back. See your Ford dealer today. For just a minute, we'd like to interrupt the serious work being done on IBM personal computers to announce a birthday. Ours. It's the fifth birthday of our expanding family of IBM personal computers. We'd like to thank all the people who have bought over three million of them, and to invite a few million more people to visit an authorized IBM dealer or call their IBM representative and join the celebration. Today's small cars are tougher than ever on oil. Their high-compression engines not only rev high, they can run hotter than regular small car engines. Their searing heat can begin to break down in oil immediately. That's why there's Castrol, the only leading motor oil that in every grade provides maximum protection against viscosity and thermal breakdown. So use Castrol before your engine does something to get you heated up. Castrol, engineered for today's smaller cars. Lonnie Anderson, Jack Elam, and Lee Weaver premiere September 13th following the Golden Girls. Sounds like a good racket to me. On Easy Street. 60,000 plus standing and applauding the Chargers in San Diego on a sunny Sunday afternoon. And they're turned on by Don Coriel's club. Manershka kicks off. Carter at the 2. Carter at the 15. Ball is loose. And the Chargers think they've got it. Let's see. They do. Chargers football. Donald Brown, the rookie from 32, in underneath the pile. Joe Carter returning it. He took a tremendous hit. caused the Dolphins problems today. They first, they had the fumble from Flight early on in the first quarter. And now, you have the fumble on another kick return, this time by Joe Carter. A big hit inside. Coughing the ball up. And that's the problem the Dolphins didn't need in this juncture. But the San Diego Chargers, their offense is cranked up enough without getting the ball this close in. Looks like Thomas Benson, 57, came up with the football. Look at that sign. That'll tell you. Four fumbles, all of them lost by Miami. At Spencer. Spencer's inside the 10-yard line. Lyle Blackwood, 42, and Don McNeil, 28, making the stop. That's the end of the third quarter. And back they come on their feet to applaud the Chargers. We'll be back after these messages from your local station. Monday. She's dangerous. He's the liberal living in the dark ages, and she's the first woman Supreme Court justice in first Monday in October. Monday. You want to take the fifth? More and more people are discovering Advantage Banking at Great America. Well, it makes sense. Great American brings you the advantage of more locations, more services, and more ways to help you make the most of your time and money. At a time when you need every financial advantage, one bank is rising to the occasion. Great American, your advantage bank. 
she sailed out of Canada, bound for our shores, to satisfy a thirst no one has before. Out of Canada's maritimes comes schooner. If it's a smooth imported beer you've been looking for, I, your ship has come in. In the year 1986, Arco introduced a whole new way to buy gas. And somehow, things were never the same. Arco introduces Paypoint Electronic Cashier. If you have a bank ATM card, it will change the way you buy gas forever. Hi, I'm Al Check. Join us for Sports Rep after football. Dan Marino. This was billed as a battle between Marino and Fouts. At the moment, Fouts, 23 of 34, 294 yards, three touchdowns. Fouts just six yards of passing yardage for his 48th 300-yard game. That's Spencer. Spencer getting down along the five-yard line before he's pulled back by Jackie Ship. Ship is a very physical performer out of Oklahoma. Ball just inside the five-yard line. Opening moments of the fourth quarter. They got the first down. It'll be first and goal to go at the four. Don Correa. Less filling. Apache, there's nothing hotter in the air or on the ground for Jack Holt, Army crew chief. The Apache's got advanced everything, like a TV for target acquisition. The gunner aims just by moving his head. Talk about hot. This bird can make tracks at 200 miles an hour. Have you looked at Allstate homeowners rates lately? Wow! They're low! You may be surprised how low they are. You're in good hands with Allstate. A member of the Sears Financial Network. As your life changes, your needs change. That's why you'll find experts in investments and real estate and insurance together at the Sears Financial Network. Come to a center at Sears or a member office for advice you can trust. Today's game is brought to you by Mazda Cars and Trucks. The more you look, the more you like Mazda value. By Federal Express. Why fool around with anyone else? And by Bud Light. Everything else is just a light.
San Diego set to kick off. Vanerska to Hampton. He's coming out. Hampton got tripped as he went across the 15-yard line. Number 50, first-year man Gary Plummer. Spent three years at Oakland in the USFL. A free agent out of California made the play. Raiders now leading at 36 to 28. Buffalo up by three over the Jets. How about that one? Kansas City 21 to 7 over Cincinnati. New England in good shape against Indianapolis and Seattle putting it on Pittsburgh. They're rooting for the defense. Marino play action fake ball batted down and almost intercepted by Lee Williams. Williams has had an outstanding game. He had 11 sacks at Los Angeles in the USFL in 84. Supplemental number one draft choice. Two career interceptions, a touchdown, and he's out of Bethune-Cookman down in Florida. And he just put that big claw up there, and Dan Marino must have thought the sun went away. He just popped it down. It's tough to steer for some of those big people in front. And Dan Marino's not a small quarterback by any means. From the shotgun, second and ten. Out into the flat, Hampton. Hampton getting to the 21-yard line. Gil Bird, number 22, playing it tough out there. Chargers have put 47 points on the board. Only two other teams in Dolphin history have ever scored more points than the Chargers have against Miami. Kansas City scored 48 points against them at Miami in 68. Buffalo 58 points at Buffalo in 66. And that is before the Don Shula era. So That's it is right. the most points ever scored against the Don Shula team while he's been in Miami. Penalty markers down over the middle. Tony Nathan. And we'll have to see what it's all about. While they sort this play out, time to check in for another update. Here's Bob Costas. <laughs> still here as we have problems trying to reach Mr. Costas. Don Shula talking there with the back judge. Thirteen oh two to play. Through three quarters. Look at that total yardage for the charges. Four hundred and seventy seven yards. Is all, they've also controlled the ball 31 minutes in time of possession. Oh, boy. As opposed to 13 and a half. Third and 12. Complete over the middle to Nathan. And Nathan has got the first down. Good effort by Tony Nathan, who played at Alabama, led Miami in rushing and receiving in 85. The first ever to do it. Mike Douglas, 53. Gil Bird, 22 on the stop. And I can see the Chargers take too many chances, Jay, here in this position, up by as many points as they are. They're simply going to sit back and play zone and allow the Dolphin receivers to catch the football, keep them in the field of play, keep the clock moving. They won't gamble as much on defense now as they would have if it's been close game. That's right, as they did in the third quarter. Marino, and a good throw and another first down. As the pass is complete over at the 42-yard line to Mark Clayton, Wayne Davis made the stop. That's been the most successful play for the Dolphins all day long. The same play that Clayton caught earlier for a 49-yard touchdown. One thing that these two great quarterbacks you're watching this afternoon have in common Marino and Fouts is the ability to set up racket rapidly and release quickly. Extremely difficult to sack. Last season each was sacked 18 times. Over the middle, incomplete. Penalty marker down. 
pass intended for Nat Moore, thrown just a bit behind him. Kevin Wyatt, number 30, the former Dolphin, had the coverage. Coach Shula with Don Strock there alongside. Our 10-minute ticker now brings you all the finals of today. Chicago over Cleveland, Washington over Philadelphia. The Rams get by St. Louis. Houston beat Green Bay. Detroit over Minnesota. San Francisco defeats Tampa Bay, and Atlanta gets by New Orleans. Penalty. Illegal use of the hand. A jam to the face. Number 68, offense, still first off. Greg Cook that's, from Arkansas. And that's his third penalty of the day. That will not sit well with Don Shula. The one thing he demands of his players is a, a good, clean uh, penalty-free game. He's not gotten one from Cook this afternoon. Cook came over, of course, as we look again. There's the shot you could almost call face mask. Yeah, right? there's the shot up to uh, Billy Ray Smith, number 54, around the face mask. Steve Clark was injured in preseason, and Lee, of course, was moved to guard. And Cook came in to play right tackle. Out of the shotgun. The throw is underthrown. Walters, 23, had the coverage on James Crew at 82. Clock stopped with 11 minutes and 8 seconds remaining to be played. The only two players on the Miami Dolphin offensive line that have been there throughout this period of time where they've gone through the injuries have been Dwight Stevenson, number 57, their center and all-pro, and the guard right next to him, 61, Roy Foster, another all-pro. Second down and 20. At the 33. Marino calls the audible. In the shotgun. Hands to Nathan. Nathan gets out to the 38-yard line. And we'll check in again. Here's Bob Costas. And Jay, here's Jim Kelly's second touchdown pass in his NFL debut. Nice juggling catch by Andre Reed. He completes the 55-yard catch and run by sprinting down the sidelines and diving across with most of the fourth quarter remaining. It's the Bills by three. And I'll bet they're loving it up there in Orchard Park, New York today. The first sellout they've had in a while. They must be enjoying it. They're having fun here in San Diego. Here's third and 15. The Dolphins, three of six on third down conversions today. Timeout. Marino wants to talk things over. Ten twenty-five remaining to be played. The fans doing the wave. San Diego defeating Miami. An urgent message from the Mazda hotline. 626s are really moving at your Mazda dealer's year-end clearance. Mazda 626, the family sedan with world-class road car credentials. With standard features like front-wheel drive, independent rear suspension, and fuel-injected engine, it's already an outstanding value. But during your Mazda dealer's year-end clearance, the deals are even better. See him today and save. To know no boundaries, to let you Opportunities. Merrill Lynch is there with the help you need to make the most of them. Because at Merrill Lynch, we believe your world should know no boundaries. To know no boundaries. The way I see it, people used to know about nature, respected it. Then they figured they'd try to make it better. Take beer. Can you imagine why anyone would want to add anything artificial? Something that just comes naturally from ingredients like grain, water, barley, hops. <laughs> Neither can Coors. Next Sunday, the NFL plays here when the Raiders battle the Redskins. Before your team takes the field, our team hits the air. NFL 86. Check your local listings and join us next Sunday, of course. Jay Randolph along with Jimmy Cephalo. We'll be up in Seattle next week with Kansas City. It's shaping up as a dandy. Yeah, both are doing well this afternoon. 47-21, Chargers over the Dolphins. 
Third down, 15. Marino going long. And Duper. And they can't connect. Davis had the coverage back there, number 20. And we've got a shoving match as tempers flare a bit up around the 35-yard line. Big number 91, Leslie O'Neill, the rookie from Oklahoma State for the Chargers. A little exercised. Along with Grant Cook, number 68 for the Dolphins. Reggie Roby, number six draft pick. 43.7, second best in the AFC in 85. And today, 42 yards on three kicks. And they're going to pass out of this formation. And the tight end can't handle it. Johnson was wide open. They had the first down. That was Jim Jensen. Jensen, who is a wide receiver, a quarterback, a specialty teams player. And he had Dan Johnson wide open as they tried to come up with the first down on fourth down and couldn't do it. Kleber, did you send those galoshes to Cleveland? They didn't get there. Yes, Mr. Reliable, Air Express, as per your instructions. Which company did you use? Why, aren't they all the same? Hold it. If you'd used Federal Express, you wouldn't be having this problem. Come with me. You see, Federal Express isn't the same as everybody else because today it takes much more. For instance, we have computers in our vans. Oh! So our couriers know instantly when there's a pickup. I see! And at our stations, we track every package and can tell you its exact status within 30 minutes or your money back. Is that right? And we have the most advanced communication system in the business. I see. So we can give you the information you need quickly. This makes us more reliable. We see. Next time, send it Federal Express. Because all Air Express companies are not the same. <laughs> reliable. I like that an Air Express company. Yes, Mr. Reliable. Ah! I've always had a special feeling for Mavericks. It's gotten me associated with winners like the Raiders and Mazda. And you know what? Mazda trucks were just named number one in overall customer satisfaction. They beat some pretty big names to come out on top. Not only are Mazda owners satisfied with their truck, they're even more satisfied with the way Mazda comes through for them after they bought it. You know, I like being even a small part of all this winning that's going on around me. A very small part. That small? <laughs> right. Oh, Presenting the NFL 86 team, Ahmad Rashad with interviews and features, Frank DeFord commentary and essays, Paul McGuire with predictions and analysis, and our host, Bob Costas. NFL 86, it takes a colorful team to cover a colorful sport. Jim Jensen, number 11, is playing fullback for the punting team. Now he happens to be the third team quarterback for the Dolphins. We'll go back to that in just a minute as the handoff goes to Spencer and he gets inside the 35-yard line. Hit for the rookie T.J. Turner, 95. The reason this play has a chance to work is because Jensen is also a tough special teams player and the charge defense are not alerted simply because he's playing fullback on the punting team. Now, this should have worked for the Dolphins, but Dan Johnson seems to have slowed up and stopped a little bit. And because of that, Jensen overthrew him. Miami's total rushing yardage, 40 yards today. And, of course, they did not have a 100-yard rushing day in all of the 85 season. Rushing the football, a real problem for the Dolphins these days. 167 yards rushing for San Diego, a team known for their passing. And off to Spencer. Spencer now has 54 yards on the afternoon. James with 54, and Anderson with 61. Little 99 and Turner 95 making the play. Raiders by five. Boy, they scored 67 points in that one. Jets leading Buffalo now 21 to 17. Then it is New England over Indianapolis. Kansas City up 21 to 7. And Seattle shutting out the Steelers. Third down and three at the 31 yard line. Nine minutes to play. Don Shula's Dolphins down 47 to 21. Pitch to James. James short of the first down as William Judson, number 49, made the stop. 
There's another great block by Spencer, Tim Spencer, number 43, wiping out the right side of the Dolphin defense, allowing the runner to get around the corner. Fans here yelling, go, go, and they put Pete Hollihan, the extra tight end, in there. Take a look at number 43, Spencer, the right side of your screen, wiping out a linebacker for the Dolphins. Number 56, John Oferdahl, was the one taking the punishment from Spencer. William Judson did a good job to make that play. Well, here is fourth and one as the Chargers go for it. Pitch comes to Buford McGee. He's got it and more. This is the first time in a long time, a long, long time, that this team has gone over 200 yards rushing. San Diego, we talk about their great ability to go through the air and air Coriel. But uh, we are going to have a, uh, another nickname, too. <laughs> Ground Coriel. Ground Coriel. Not since 1981 against the Cleveland Browns have they gone over the 200-yard mark, but they did it today against the Dolphins. On first and 10, Spencer straight ahead for a couple. Jerome Foster with the tackle. Again, here's Bob Costas. Jay, yesterday, Miloslav Machir was able to beat Boris Becker, but today, against top-seeded Yvonne Lendl, he ran out of miracles. In straight sets, it's Lendl 6-4, 6-2, for the men's title in the U.S. Open. Back to San Diego. So, it's all over. Lendl and Navratilova, the champions, all hail. Second down and seven at the 18. Buford McGee. McGee hit down at about the 17 by John Oferdahl, number 56. Oferdahl, as we've told you, a very impressive young man, just 21 years old, out of Western Michigan, calling the defensive signals. And he was drafted on the second round, the 52nd man chosen, the first pick for the Dolphins because of the Hugh Green deal. The Dolphins really try to go into this season bolstering their run defense and if today's any, any indication they've got to go back to the bulletin board and start from scratch. Spencer and Anderson are the running backs. Fouts throwing. It's complete to Anderson and he doesn't get anything. Hit right about at the line of scrimmage. Donovan Rose, 26 making the play and Ralph Panerska is coming on. The bounce is still about six yards away from the 300-yard game. We have 6.18 remaining to be played. Anershka set to kick the field goal. He moved to this country in the 10th grade, or moved to Southern California. From Boston in the 10th grade started playing soccer out here. Mojinko will hold. 36-yarder. It's good. Don Coriel told us yesterday, well, he hasn't had a very good preseason, but we know he can do it under pressure. Charging. 50. Dolphins. 21. He's Don Shula, the winningest coach in the NFL, admired and respected by millions. Sure, winning is important on the field, but winning is also important in the home, in the community. The National Football League is concerned not only about professional football, but they're also concerned about you and I in the community. Contrary to what people believe, a lot of good things do happen in Miami. Uh, it's, a, it's a city where people have come, they've migrated there, and uh, they've been able to establish a new life. Uh, families that have been broken have been able to get it back together. There have been community services such as United Way that have been able to help these people get back on track and, and to make it and to start a new life and to realize that dream that they had when they came to Miami. That's why I have such faith in United Way. It gives to all different types of families regardless of race, creed, or color. It's there to help the needy and that's what's important to me. This message furnished by the National Football League. 
Don Chula has uh, urged his players for years to get involved in the community and put something back into it, and uh, he leads by example. Hampton on this return, and it's a good one out to the 35-yard line. Lorenzo Hampton, who averaged 23.7 in preseason. Well, it's been a tough afternoon for Don Shula's Dolphins, but you know that this man will be back. But he's taking a real licking here this afternoon, 50 to 21. Anershka now with three field goals, three for three on the afternoon for Ralph. 26 yarder, 236 yarders. And he's looking happy and looking very good physically. Folks in this part of the world know he was near death. Battle back from that stomach disorder. Marino over the middle, and it's the tight end, Bruce Hardy, who's out to the 42-yard line. Billy Ray Smith making the tackle. And again, we'll check in with Robert Costas. Jay, since the last time we checked with you on this game, the Jets have scored twice. Once on a short run by Johnny Hector, and this, a 71-yard catch and run by the veteran Wesley Walker from Ken O'Brien. With a little more than five minutes remaining, it's the Jets, 28-17 at Buffalo. So the Jets battling back at Rich Stadium. Hand off to Lorenzo Hampton. Earl Wilson, 93, and Billy Ray Smith, 54. Lee Williams, 99, in on the tackle. The Dolphins are trying to get into the huddle as quickly as possible. That running play is not going to make it down by 29 points at this juncture. Only one team has ever scored more points than this against the Dolphins. I'll relate that again. Buffalo in September of 66 at Buffalo, 58 points. Marino. And it's just short of the first down at the 44-yard line to Nat Moore. Jeffrey Dale, 37, making the stop. There's a hurry-up uh, offense by the Dolphins. If they're going to get anything done and make any approach to eat away at that lead, they've got to go to the hurry-up. Incomplete, intending it for Bruce Hardy. Leslie O'Neill making it tough on Dan Marino. This 50 points on the board for the Chargers marks the 10th time in Charger history that they've scored 50 or more. And Marino doesn't have much time to get rid of the football. O'Neill, as you see, number 91 coming in from the backside. And Dan Marino will remember that, too, oh, for about a week or so. He'll, he'll take the bed feeling away by the time they line up next Sunday. You know. 3.59 left to play. Third down and one for the Dolphins at the 43-yard line. into the flat to Hampton. Hampton's got the first down. He goes down, steps out at the 35. David Martin, the cornerback, 33 over there, making the play. It'll be a difficult week in Miami at uh, St. Thomas training camp for the Dolphin players. Don Shula certainly won't panic. He's been down before, as you said earlier, Jay. He'll be 0-1 in all probability. He's just four minutes left in this football game. But uh, he's been on one before. Yes, he has. But I guarantee you, it will not be a week where they'll gain any weight as a Dolphin player going to their practice. Up. It's going to be a tough one. For them. They meet the Colts at the Orange Bowl next Sunday. The Colts, of course, playing New England today. Marino throwing and a fine catch by Lorenzo. No, it's incomplete. And Hampton's a little upset with the call. Hampton thought he held that ball long enough over there to get a catch. But the official on the play ruled it incomplete. Billy Ray Smith is covering here, and that's supposed to be a mismatch. Lorenzo Hampton, a fast defensive back, does have a step on him. Let's see. Uh, I guess he never had, well. Uh, that's, that's really a tough call, even uh, sitting here and looking at it once again. Sure was. Of course, we have the instant replay experiment in 1986 in the National Football League came into play in the Bear game third play today not come into play here this afternoon look out wow -wee. Thomas Benson Benson number 57 
and one thing on his mind that's the fourth time that Marino has been sacked here today well, they've done it all preseason long they had 15 sacks in four football games Ron Lynn the defensive coordinator he's been confusing the Dolphins all day long you can see it here Marino trying to orchestrate things back there and Moving people around, moving Tony Nath, number 22, and that more side to side. But it's number 57, Benson, right up the gut. Nobody touched him. He was only sacked 18 times in all of last season. Four already today. Well, that patchwork offensive line has something to do with that, but credit the Chargers. They've done a job today. This defensive unit, certainly on what we've seen today, is an improved defensive unit. No question about that. Marino intercepted Mike Douglas number 53 went high into the air Mark Clayton 83 the intended receiver and when you have a young club they get better if you perform early enough they having fun in Denver oh, what, a game. what a game that is Kansas City by seven New England in control and Seattle really doing the job on the stage They got nobody back downfield to receive this punt from Roby. And it's just going to hit. And the Dolphin player down there trying to down it. That was Mike Smith, the second-year man from Texas, El Paso. And he, he was in great shape to try and down that ball, but it just came right over the outstretched fingertips. Dan Marino talking with Don Strock, the backup. 13 years in the National Football League chatting with him tonight Silver Spoons and Punky Brewster and then Disney's DTV Romanson followed by Popeye Doyle looking forward to that Popeye Doyle show uh, that's of course come out of the French connection Is that right? yep on the sweep Buford McGee and McGee is up across the 20 to the 22 yard line Tackle made by Jackie Ship. And again, to New York, Bob Costas. Jay, in an incredible game at Mile High, the Broncos have come back. First, a 51-yard Rich Carlos field goal. Then, this seven-yarder from Elway to Gene Lang. With just under nine minutes remaining, the Broncos now claim the lead. 38-36. Boy, oh boy, Robert. And you fellas in New York doing an incredible job of keeping us updated this afternoon. It's 50 to 21. The Chargers leading the Dolphins here, and Mark Herman is the quarterback. Herman, who played at Purdue, All American there. That was McGee carrying, and Mark Brown, 51 on the stop. There's Mark Herman at a fine preseason. He was 29 out of 44 for 429 yards and a touchdown. Dan Fouts, we're well, not going to get his. 48 300 yard game today but I don't think it bothers no, him too much. I don't much. think it does. It was all said and done when he finishes a career if he has 55 or 65 it won't much matter. We'll be back with more right after this. AT&T the right choice. In their last regular season game, the Patriots lead the Bengals by four. With just two minutes remaining, New England has a fourth down and one at the Bengal 42. Should the Patriots go for it to try to maintain possession or play it safe and punt, what would you do? The leader in long-distance service now costs less. AT&T has lowered weekday and evening prices 13.8%, the largest single reduction in our history, but not the first. Since 1984, our prices overall have dropped more than 20%. Of course, you can always look to AT&T for the highest quality service. And now, see where our prices have gone. AT&T, the right choice. What did you decide? The Patriots elect to go for it, and Robert Weathers' 42-yard touchdown run clinches the victory to send New England on the road to the Super Bowl. The Patriots made the right choice. You see, number 70, number one draft choice, James Fitzpatrick out of USC. He's been somewhat of a disappointment. Uh, Fouts calls him Fitzpatrick. He weighs 302 pounds. And but kiddingly, he takes it. Yeah. Well. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, he has no choice, of course, but he does take it. Well. They think down the road that uh, 
Fitzpatrick is going to be a player. Well, Fitzpatrick and Lachey, uh, they hope, are going to be the bookends that will carry them for a very long time. Fitzpatrick, they knew, was going to be a project when they drafted him. He had a lot of raw talent, a very large man, 6'7", uh, and uh, like over 300 pounds. In fact, he reported about three and a quarter. And so he, uh, if they can work with him and develop him, he and Lachey on the opposite sides could be a real formidable start of an offensive line for the Chargers. 50 to 21. Chargers lead it. Third down and four at the 26. Herman over the middle, underthrowing. Pass intended for Charlie Joyner up at the 30 yard line. Jackie Ship, number 50, making the play. And Herman limping. I think he got a shot in the right leg. It's no fun. Come in and. No, it's not. Did that happened to you? He was injured during the preseason as well, uh, opening the door for Tom Flick to come in and play some quarterback in their final preseason game. Dolphins put Pruitt back in a single safety this time to receive the punt from Ralph Mojenko. There's 11 or excuse me, 10 people in the line of scrimmage for the Dolphins today. They're going to try to put some pressure on Mojenko. He's a left-footed kicker. Poor kick. Woody Bennett is coming in on the play. So they're going to have good field position. We'll be back in a moment. Charlie, give me a light. Charlie, a Bud Light. If you just ask for a light beer, you never know what you'll get. Give me a light. Ah, uh, Bud Light. Hey, thanks. So if you want the less filling light beer with the first name and taste, don't just ask for a light beer. I can have a light. Bud Light. Bud Light. Because everything else is just a light. An urgent message from the Mazda Hotline. RX-7s are included in your Mazda dealer's year-end clearance. RX-7, Motor Trend's Import Car of the Year. Winner of the IMSA GTU Championship. Nat Moore makes the catch. Strock taking over here for Marino in the final seconds. Danny Walters had the coverage. Don Strock has the absolute best job in all of football, Jay. He, and he does it as well as anybody. He does it extremely well. He's a, a coach to Dan Marino has been since Marino came into the league four years ago. Uh, he's been a backup to uh, Bob Greasy, to, uh, to David Woodley, and now to Dan Marino. But he gives the Dolphins something they need, the confidence that their backup can come in and win a football game. And every time he gets the opportunity, he does it. Led the nation at Virginia Tech in passing back in 1972. Over the middle, rocked by number 82, Pruitt. Pruitt's not had a good couple of days. As you said, he missed the plane, took the wrong freeway yesterday and uh, hasn't been able to get on track today but looked very very good in preseason yeah he dropped a couple of balls this afternoon uh, so you can add a couple of completions to marino if if Pruitt were able to hang on uh, three touchdowns for marino but there were four sacks thrown in there when you look at those numbers if you didn't know the score that's certainly good enough to win a football game but unfortunately dan fouts on the other side had an incredible afternoon and uh, 21 points just haven't been enough for the dolphins here They've been successful on four of nine third down situations. Strock throwing, and they're successful here as the pass is complete to Tony Nathan for the first down, and Jeffrey Dale, 37, makes the stop at about the 17-yard line. Now, Fouts this afternoon, 24 of 36, 293 yards. From the shotgun, Strock throwing, and almost picked off. Number 23, Danny Walters cutting in front of Pruitt. Bouts for the 293. He was sacked twice today, three touchdowns. But he was in a position where his club had the lead all the way, and he utilized his running backs today so beautifully. Spencer, Anderson, McGee, and James, they all played a part. And uh, that's right. Marino got into the position of being behind earlier, and uh, the Chargers knew he had to throw the football. Fouts was able to mix it up with the running game, and they used both their running and passing attack very well this afternoon. 
Pass is complete down to the five in for the touchdown goes Nat Moore. Nat Moore making a fine effort. Jeffrey Dale, 37. Danny Walters, 23. And when you're in a pinch, you have to go to the veteran. Here, Nat Moore, I said earlier, he's the most crafty receiver I've ever watched. Just take a look at him here. First of all, he makes a move to beat the defender. And then he dances, bounces, leaps, and finally pirouettes into the end zone. A lot of people have shot at him, but he just decided I'm going on. Quad Reves with the extra point. 58 seconds remaining to be played. Chargers 50. Dolphins. Ship message from the Mazda Hotline. RX-7s are included in your Mazda dealer's year-end clearance. RX-7, Motor Trend's import car of the year. Winner of the IMSA GTU Championship seven years straight. And the current SCCA Pro Rally Manufacturer's Champion. RX-7, it's always been a red-hot performer. Now the deals are hot, too. Hurry to your Mazda dealer's year-end clearance. Well, now it's time for the Most Valuable Player Award, sponsored by Budweiser. Today's MVP is Fouts. Dan Fouts, of course, the San Diego Chargers' number one pilot. And Budweiser will donate $1,000 to the United Way on behalf of Dan Fouts. The United Way campaigns underway across America, benefiting so many in your community, wherever you are. The Chargers have to be very, very happy with their open today for a number of reasons. One, not only have they scored 40 or 50 points, excuse me, and they're beating the Dolphins, but because their young players performed so very well. Leslie O'Neill, their number one choice, had a whale of a game from his defensive end position. Put a lot of pressure on Marino and the Dolphins. On the side kick. See that coming, and it's finally going to be one of the Chargers that gets it, although the Dolphins certainly had their opportunity. And that's a big mistake by Miami because they cannot advance that ball. It's bouncing on the ground. The only thing they can do is fall on it. They yeah. can't advance it. You might as well get it and hold on to it. Those are the final scores. Many of you have seen them earlier, but if you're just tuning us in, the 10-minute ticker on our football coverage for 1986. Detroit with a win over Minnesota today. San Francisco getting off with a good start. Denver finally getting the lead there. They're still going. Jets leading by four. Well, you're going to see Tom Flick, number 12 in the game now for San Diego. Third-year man from the University of Washington. He had a good preseason. Buford McGee, and McGee gets to the 44-yard line before Mark Brown, number 51, makes the tackle. Don Coriel elected to uh, go with three quarterbacks on his roster. Uh, Tom Flick, he said, he, as he mentioned to us yesterday, he felt it was good enough to win a football game for him if the first two guys, uh, Fouts and Herman, would go down. But what he does in that case is he goes light at another, at another position. Uh, very few coaches around the NFL, when uh, the NFL owners decided to keep the 45-man rosters, decided to go with the third quarterback. So Flick must have impressed Coriel very much. We're down to 12 seconds. A lot of the faithful, the sellout crowd have headed for the freeways, but those that are here coming to their feet. Big win for the San Diego Chargers. Don Coriel and his San Diego Chargers besting Don Shula and the Miami Dolphins 50-28. Tonight, after Silver Spoons and Punky Brewster, it's Disney's DTV Romancing. And, of course, also coming up tonight, the world premiere of Popeye Doyle. For Jimmy Cephalo, Jay Randolph, here in San Diego, the Chargers win it big. 50 to 28, San Diego over Miami. So long from Southern California. A promotional fee has been paid to NBC by United Airlines, serving 13 cities in Asia and the Pacific. United, a fresh breeze across the Pacific. This has been a presentation of NBC Sports. Proud to be the network.